true you guys are are now living in the true crime clout house? <laughs> no, we're we're uh, we're sharing um, a studio, studio space. But he's got his own place. Yeah, yeah. I have my own, I have my uh, own place in Tampa. I wish you guys lived together. It could be the true crime clout house. The, clout con, the con house. Yeah, we got to wait for Matthew to get off probation. Um, oh, yeah. For any of that. Are you happen. off probation? Hell yeah! Really? He, he's never completed I'm, a pro he, that makes it yeah, sound like he pretty clean right that makes it sound like he yeah. completed it and he did a good job and they let him go that's not what happened at all I, they I, continually violated him put him in prison until eventually the judge said you're un um I'm unsupervisable. unsupervisable yeah i've never successfully completed one term of probation my entire life and i've been on probation since i was 13 years old never successfully completed any so i get out of prison and I got out of the halfway house, uh, and I go right back to fucking making cards. You know what I mean? I start, <laughs> I say, Fuck it. You know what I mean? I go right back to it. Uh, yeah, they got me, sent me back to prison, and then I got in front of the judge, and she was like, uh, you're not supervisable. You know, we've had to extradite you from, you know, every corner of the country to get you back here, to get you get you in front of the judge. So it's like, they, they killed my paper. They just gave me time served and killed my paper. I had three years of federal um, probation, but they just squashed it. You That's amazing. Yeah, I got lucky. And Some people get really lucky that out the way. Door. These little technicalities. Yeah. yeah well, it's it's not a technicality. He still ended up in... Like, well, usually what they do is it's usually a third. So let's say you have three years paper. And right away you end up getting... Um, you violate, let's say, the first month. And they'll say, okay, look, we're going to send have you do a year's worth of prison time and just quash your paper. Mm -hmm. By the time he got in front of the judge, he'd already done how many months in prison it's like six or nine months six or nine months so nine months it's like okay well you <clears throat> you don't have that much like if we divide that into you know what you what you currently have to serve like yeah. you know what just for, just just cut him loose because otherwise what are you gonna do start his paper over again right like it just you can have these guys yeah. if they kept doing that then a lot of the guys would never get off probation mm. I just had this guy on here uh, who's apparently like one of the biggest cyber criminals in history, in the U.S. history, mm -hmm. and he did a lot of the fake mm -hmm. card card stuff too. And he, he's like, a lot like what you said. A mm -hmm. lot of the people that he worked with, making fake cards, were based in the Ukraine and Russia. Yep. Why is oh, that? <clears throat> yeah, for whatever reason, they're uh, bad people. Bro. Eastern Eastern Ukraine, uh, Eastern Ukraine and Russia is just the. The, the climate uh, out there, you get, you, you know, a lot of those kids out there, that's just what they do. A lot of hacking. Um, it's like popular culture where yeah. they come from. But Isn't it legal also, there? Well, but you can also run the forum there. Like, you're not going to be able to run a forum here without them cracking down on you. They have the servers and everything over there, too, right? Well, like, Carter out SU, where was that located? That was a Russian server. Right. But, you know, they're so, they're so goddamn smart over there and, and tech savvy. Like, your average teenager in Russia knows how to code. You right, know what I mean? Right. Like you're just your average teenager over there can code and they can program and they can, you know, do all kinds of shit. You know, your average teenager here doesn't know dick about coding, mm -hmm. you know, so. Who are the guy? How are you talking to these guys that were in Ukraine and Russia when you were doing the carding shit? Uh, what were you buying from them? Right. So I was I was purchasing. I was actually selling to them. I was oh, actually you were selling. selling yeah, I, was I thought you were buying plastic. blanks. No, no, no. I, initially, I was. Okay. Initially, I was buying the blank cards, but then I got into. Uh, I was actually selling them. Uh, oh in bulk. shit! Yeah. Yep. And how are you selling it to them? You were selling. You were like, how would the transaction go through? Uh, it was either Bitcoin or uh, we had like I had Western Union services set up. I had all kinds of shit. I had Web Monies back then was pretty popular. Uh, Liberty Reserve back then was pretty popular. And these were like these fly by night online payment systems, kind of similar yeah. to what PayPal is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you put fifty dollars in, you get fifty dollars in WMZ, and like say you have an account and I have a, a wallet, then we can exchange WMZ between each other. But then there needs to be like a third party uh, exchanger to cash out of WMZ into right. whatever currency. Did you ever yeah. use Silk Road? It didn't exist back then. Oh, it didn't exist. No, yet. the Silk Road didn't <clears throat> exist. Uh, the dark web didn't exist. The Onion Router wasn't even a thing. No tour. No tour. No none of that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was just uh, it was just you know um, VPNs and and you had Russian VPN services that were you know you could change you could all these plugins where you could change socks proxies and you know you could change your VPN change your IP address and then go to the uh, the forums and that's when you know all the forums got shut down but that's when. In the heyday, there was a bunch of them. There was like 10 or 15 that were just like killing it. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, the one guy um, was on just Lex Friedman. I don't. That I, guy, he was in here yesterday. Really? You had yeah. him on here? Brett oh, yeah. Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Brett Johnson. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he, was, he was Shadow Crew, man. He started. Shadow Crew, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. started Shadow Crew, which eventually went on to be um, Carter. 
uh, was it Carter.su was the one I was on, but then there was previous to that, there was something called uh, Carter Planet, and then there was Carter.org. But he was the godfather of all of that shit. Like, he started it. And then when he, when Max, uh, what were the guys' names from Max Kingpin? Max Butler. Max Butler and Christopher Aragon. When those guys went down, um, it created like a vacuum. In the in the in the in the in the in the online space in the in the marketplace because there was just, you know there was nobody else making cards because the the feds had taken down Shadow Crew they had taken down Carter.org they took down Max <coughs> Max Butler and or Christopher Aragon they took down both of the guys that were you know selling all the cards in the forums and everything and you know what Max Butler did is he did like a hostile takeover of all the forums he fucking hacked them all took all locked out all of the admin. And then he took all of the users and then put them all into one fucking one fucking site and sent out emails like you're all yeah. just part of this big community now. <clears throat> he locked out all the admin, told them to go fuck themselves, and that's it. It was like this fucking wild takeover of like all the forums. Yeah, and then and then the when book they, Kingpin, yeah. that book Kingpin, yeah. And then when they went down, it created a vacuum. And then oh, I that's what Kingpin's about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh. then it kind of I filled that vacuum. Like when I came in and started selling cards, it was right after all that shit had happened. So there was nobody, there was nobody moving plastic. Like you know. Oh my god, that's yeah. so fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I came in, and then that was it. Then there was just nobody selling plastic, and that's when it was like. Yeah. So Brett like laid the foundation for all this. He was stuff. the Godfather. Shadow you know? Crew. Yeah. That was like that yeah. platform that he created. It was like the trust. Like he said the. The reason for that was so all these criminals, he said the reason yeah. that um, these like black hat communities could survive and do so well is because all these criminals could work together and talk to yeah. each other and trust each other yeah. and learn from each other. Yep. And the people who are in the white hat, or the good guys, they didn't do that. They didn't communicate. No. And, you know, there was like, and, and this is back in the, the tutorial days yeah. um, where you could go and there was just, I mean, people were just, you know, tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. And then that's how I learned. You know what I mean? That's I would sit up. I remember until six, seven o'clock in the morning, the sun was coming up. And I'd be downloading all of these tutorials, and I would just be compiling, compiling, compiling all this data, and then I would sit up for days just studying all these that's tutorials. That's fucking wild. They don't do that anymore. Yeah. That's how I learned how to use, like, Photoshop and how to do, like, video editing, just watching YouTube tutorials yeah. for hours and yeah. hours and hours. Yeah, and this is pre-YouTube. Oh, oh yeah. YouTube's Fuck, what? that's oh, so crazy. Yeah, this YouTube's, what, 07? I don't know. I don't remember. I, don't remember seven, uh, I f the, think the, four or five, but it did. It took a while to take off. Yeah. The iPhone, the first iPhone came out in 2006, and it had YouTube pre-installed on okay. it. Okay, so yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, I mean, even then, like, I was, st I was still doing this, like, oh three, oh four. 2005, YouTube came out. Yeah, wow, so that's, that's right when that that was like my heyday. It was like oh five to oh nine. iPhone so. came out in 2006. I think it was oh seven. Sure? I think you it was look later. The iPhone one came out. I think it was 2006. Oh, what was it six? Oh six. Yeah. Oh, six. Yeah, you know, so this was like, man, this is so, I feel like a dinosaur, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because, you know, he now these kids are all on fucking, te they got something called Telegram now, and that's like the big marketplace for all the fraudsters because it's all encrypted. Telegram See, this is, is yeah. this is when yeah. you say, all of this is in my book, Bent, which you can find. Available on Amazon. On Amazon. Thank yeah. That's all I'm asking yeah. for. Yeah. That's not a lot. Thanks, Matt. A shameless plug for, uh, I mean, for there's Bent. nothing wrong with that. Shameless capitalist. Yeah. Forever the capitalist. Yeah. 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 Better, yeah. better than the communist. Um, yeah, dude, he was saying, Brett was telling me that one of the guys that he worked really closely with, a young guy, he said that at one point, because he <laughs> stepped down from Shadow Crew, another guy stepped, like, took his place. So the guy he really trusted, I forget the fucking guy's name right now. It's, I'm, I'm Brett Johnson was Iceman. That was his name on yeah. there? I, know, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, he was Iceman, like the original, like the Iceman. That everybody knew, like you know what I mean. I thought I thought <laughs> it's fucking but, I crazy. Thought Butler was uh, what was his name? Max Butler. <laughs> I thought he called himself Ice Man. Was it Max Butler? or Was it fucking? I'm getting my facts fucked up. I know I'm gonna get crucified in the, was, in the comment section. Yeah, but. I was gonna say no. Somebody was Ice Man. Wait, wait, no. Ba Max Butler changed his name. R you remember? Yes. He actually changed his name to something. Maybe it was oh. Maximum. Or Ma I don't fucking know. I don't know. Anyways, Whatever. he said that one of his guys that he Robert, worked really I closely with. I read that with. book like three times in <laughs> prison. I love that book. He said one of the guys he worked really closely with just went to an ATM one day wearing mm -hmm. his hoodie. Uh, and it was like at a Publix ATM. And he just sat there with his hoodie with a backpack full of blank credit cards. And he was just at the ATM standing there for 45 minutes. Yeah. Just taking out money. And the cop, uh, there's random cop car. These guys were there getting lunch at Publix. And they were sitting there eating their lunch. Like, this guy's been here for 35, 40 minutes. So fucking like, lazy, Hey, man. buddy, what are you doing? Lazy. And that's how he got caught. And he got like a, like a I think close to a life sentence. <clears throat> lazy. Not if it was, if not laziness, sentence. man. Fucking complacency and laziness. You don't do that. You spread them out. 
right. no GPS to right. shit. Right. Fucking mm-hmm. figure out the ones who have the hundred dollar bills and the high limits. On I was on, losing man. my shit when I was talking to him about how he was making his money. Because he was talking about, because he did a lot of identity theft. He was making money with tax return fraud. He would spend all day filing 200 tax returns. He would find a list. Yeah. All these people that would die, there'd be a registry of all the people that oh, died. I know. And if you don't register those people, there, he finds, like, he goes yeah. online and finds a list of hundreds yeah. of people's social security numbers. You can go and find. It's the California Death Registry. California is the only state yeah. that leaves the social mm. security numbers. All the rest of the states don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. It was before that. It was the uh, the sexual offenders registry. I was gonna say, like, you it, can find how could you do everything. That with the death registry that you know that they know that the people died. So right? Like, no, how no. Would that it was a they were, that was part of it. But before that, he got the sexual offenders registry, where you could just go on a website and you could find it, and it was everything from name to social security number, sperm count, the whole deal. And I'm like, Shit. sperm count. That's important. That's if, a very if important. If Matt Cox <laughs> would have been able to find this, oh, you would. God. I mean, imagine if you would have been able to get a hold of that and wouldn't have to be like. And the Moes usually have you, good fucking You wouldn't credit. have to yeah. be finding homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, half of them got college yeah. education. Um, Despite their sexual deviancy, yeah. they're usually fucking you know, pretty good with their money. Credit score. <laughs> you know what I always thought was, was, found was funny when I was doing Freedom of Information Act on people? Like I would get stuff from the 80s or 90s, and you'd get a police report, and they would actually have the social security number on it. And, and, and they would take... So they would take like that white out, you know, the, the what the tape, and they would put like tape over it and send it to me. It's like you could just scratch it off and go, oh, there it the is. The social security number is two six two, you know, and you read it off. Yeah. Now, now it's all digital. So now when they send it to you, you know, it's got a black strip over it. But back then they were like, oh look, I better wipe that out and send it to them. What kind of idiot does that? And I mean, I've got probably four different people's socias that came to me like that through the mail in prison. It's like, nice. what are you doing? So, you. Like, but when they were handwritten. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. But that's not as good as the most. You look really buff, man. Stop. Have you been working out? It's his diet. Yeah. What's your diet? You look you look super me, let's, jacked. Let's talk about Matt's diet <laughs> for a early second. morning hey, gym. Listen, so he's so upset. He, like I eat I eat T V dinners and you know, these oh, yeah, guys what are get they, uh, so upset. Like Matthew's one of those cuisines. people that just doesn't yeah, allow cuisines. himself exactly. I love lean cuisine. <laughs> Matthew doesn't allow himself any pleasure in his life. That's not true. That's not true. None. I know a few people like that. That's not true. I had ice cream last he just, night. Matt's like one of those people who just abstain for, for, from everything. I'm, you know what I mean? Like those weird people who are just like, just like I'm going to have one Coke. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to have a sip of this. And that's going to be it till I, you know, till next week or the month or whatever. No, nah, it's not true. You, it is you kind go, of true. You go to the gym at like 5 a.m. Listen, yeah, Matt, Matthew, yeah. during the day. Did you see my video? Yeah, you sent me a video. Nice, right? I saw the Batman yeah, video. So now they've got, they put up little signs. That he's all upset about it. They put up little signs now in the gym saying you can't video record in the gym. Oh, like, I told him I hope they got, I hope they kick you guys out for yeah, fucking was, the what shenanigans. Was, what was the point of that? What were you guys doing? It just it was a dare. We were sitting there one day in the morning, it was like six o'clock, five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, and we're working out. And I'm looking around. And I go, everybody here looks so miserable. And, and yeah, it's five in the morning. I know. And yeah, Jess right. just like, well, because it's five. It's like five thirty six. And I was like, I know, but I like, I'm always happy and jumping around. I've had a couple cups of coffee. I'm like, you know, come on, my turn. Let's go. You know, I'm tickling. You also spent twenty years in prison. Of course, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so I ended up saying, I said, you know, it'd be funny. I said, what if we? I said, what if I walked in one day? Because you, you know, a lot of the guys will walk in and they'll be buff and they'll wear like a superhero outfit. It'll say. It'll have like a Batman or a Superman, or they have like all the. It looks like just. But like that a, doesn't mean they want you to come in dressed as Batman. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Fucking. So I said, wouldn't it be cool? I said, you know what would be great? What if I matter. came in? What if I came in with a Batman mask? And she, I said, what do you think they'd say? And she started laughing. She goes, I don't know. And I said, I'll do it. And she goes, I'll do it too. I said, all right, order it. I said, let's do it. And and she said, she she goes, oh, I will. I said, okay, we'll see because I know because Jess is you know super timid. And when we got home. She goes, okay. She's, what about this one? I was like, oh shit, she's doing it. And then I thought, she'll never do it. She's never going in here. But it kept getting amped up. I was like, oh, I'm ready. I got my mask. And she's like, oh, mine's going to be here tomorrow. Watch. And it got there like two days later. It got there. And she goes, okay, when are we doing this? I was like, uh, Wednesday. You know, that way we're doing chest and it, you know, it looks better. And she's like, yeah, okay, okay. She's like, I'm serious. I'm like, me too. And then when we actually got in the car, put on the mask, I realized she's not chickening out. <laughs> This is not good. Like, <laughs> it's going down. I was like, I, this is, 
I'm semi embarrassed already. We haven't walked in the gym. <laughs> so, you know, but it was a dare. I had to do it. We both walked in. We videoed the whole time. We walked in. We worked out in the masks. Nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. Nope. We, and we walked right back out. And because they probably thought you guys were fucking insane. You're going to pull yeah. out fucking Uzis and start fucking gunning <laughs> everybody down in there. Yeah, you're Listen, probably, he's probably right. Hey, let me tell you something. You work out wearing a Batman mask, every weight was light. <laughs> my adrenaline was so spiked. My face was all sweating. I was so embarrassed and everything. Went through the whole thing, but everything was light. Just feeling good like Batman. Yeah, I, 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 I said, dude, I would have been so embarrassed. If I would have been there working out and you guys would come in, I would have had to have left the gym. I would have just got in my car and went home. <laughs> like, it's just, I can't do this. It's not. <laughs> Who is this fucking guy? What in the fuck great. is going on here? Yeah, where great. am I? I was proud of Jess for doing it. Yeah. Like, I never thought she'd do it. <laughs> I was like, this is, this is good. It's so good. do you go to the gym at 5 a.m. Um, every morning? No, I mean, usually five or six. We get there about six. Do you do anything but arms? That's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I do everything. I do chest, shoulders, tries, legs, back. I do everything. Not do every legs? day. Yeah, I do legs. Not Wait, a, you but, do, you, but you don't go every day? I, we, I, we go every day but Sunday. Okay. Every day but Sunday. Damn, that's, Damn. Fucking, that's a heavy week. routine, man. Yeah, that's a that lot. Is. And all he eats during the day is scoops of peanut butter and popsicles. <laughs> I eat scoops of peanut butter, too. <laughs> that's it? Not true. I, I have a link. I have two link cuisines. Uh, he, and he's got a jar of pickled asparagus that he munches on. I ate that. Well. I, I killed that. I finished that. You eat pickled asparagus? It's so good. Oh, I like pickled They're asparagus. So good. Ugh. That sounds nasty. Have you? You haven't even tried it. No, but it sounds gross. It's it's amazing. I like almost it's amazing pickled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen a rock hopper penguin? I don't know. It's so <laughs> random. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Austin, Google the rock hopper penguin. Oh, that's funny. You gotta find. You gotta see this, bro. This is the funniest bird I've ever seen in my life. What were you gonna ask me? You said, "Oh wait, let's wait till the podcast." You were gonna ask me something, and then you go, "Oh wait, let me let me wait till the podcast." Look at this fucking penguin. Yeah, in a big picture, I've seen those. <laughs> Look at its red fucking devil eyes. <laughs> Did you know that 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 thing existed? I've seen those before. Did you know it was yeah, called? Yeah, that's the what I was gonna say. I've seen it from. I that, didn't know that the cartoon. name. It's of in it. that. Yeah, it's in that animated film. But let's. If you, I mean, to be honest, he's cooler looking than a regular penguin. He really. He's got he's style. Insane looking. There's there's almost half a million of them. It's endangered. <clears throat> Breeds on islands. Spends the rest of the time at sea. But where can you find them? South Atlantic. Uh, I want to get one. Indian Ocean. I want to get a pet rock hopper. This is exactly why they're they're in danger. Yeah. People <laughs> went out and they'd capture them, bring them home. They die a week later because he doesn't know how to take care of them. That thing yeah. looks like it would fuck you up. You Put them on home. a Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where they are, Austin? Can you find where they are? <laughs> Poor Austin. South Atlantic. Says, says it right, right there. there. Yeah. South Atlantic. Yes. In the, okay. In so Indian like, Oceans. Okay. Oh, oh, I bet you're there. You think there are there penguins in South Africa, Austin? Well, look at the map. It's right there. It says South Africa. Penguins mm -hmm. are usually generally in colder climates. Yeah, South Africa gets pretty damn cold. Really? Yeah. But is it frozen all year? Not, not frozen all year, no. But the penguins could, you know, I don't know. How did this come up? <laughs> so I, I just thought it just popped in my head. You asked me what I was going to say before we started the podcast. Yeah, you went yeah, to you say something, to say and something. I go, what? And you go, you know what? Let's wait till the podcast. I went, okay. I don't remember. I, 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 it's uh, it's Must not, not been have been important. important yeah, it, yeah, it wasn't important. It was probably a comment on your V neck or your giant arms. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> giant arms. <laughs> yeah, hey, have you seen that SpongeBob episode where he walks around with the inflatable arms, with yeah. the super jacked up <laughs> arms? Yeah, <laughs> I think you remind me of SpongeBob. He goes to the beach and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, remember. Hey, the group chat. We had our own little like fraud. We got to add you to the group chat. Yeah, we yeah. I was going to mention when I got out of the Bozziak knows about all the crazy conspiracies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were meant like every two days I get something about how to extend your legs <laughs> or <laughs> special <laughs> shoes. They send me stuff for special shoes that add two and a half inches, and it's like I typically I'm just I'm like ha ha, and then like two days later it'll say so it'll be something else about. It's just crazy shit, man. It's fucking fascinating. There's this one doctor on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He specializes in limb extensions. Right. How many how many successful uh, surgeries does he have? I don't know. Belt? Mm -hmm. Austin, do you know his what name? What would an unsuccessful one be? You get shorter. Uh, they <laughs> that they <laughs> amputate the leg. Yeah. got shorter. No, bro. This is a common. Is procedure. this really him? 
You no. can get it. Oh, yeah. Click the top link. <clears throat> what, what do they add? Like an inch or Bone two? Link no, they can add it several inches. Stop several it. Inches. Hit that bullshit yeah. at the you bottom. You think I haven't looked way. into this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's already got an appointment book. <laughs> I mean, that's extreme. He's but. got it on his vision board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you t- look at the first thing. It says, are you tired of being short? <laughs> Do you feel self-conscious about your height? Oh, they know where to, to hit you. To the point where your happiness is being compromised? Listen, if you've made it this far, <laughs> they yeah. don't need to do much no. selling. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You've already <laughs> looked it up. <laughs> Click on that first video. Which you need to know how much. How much and what's the recovery time? The recovery time that's when I looked into it was outrageous. How much could this be? When, when I looked into oh, it, it, it was probably a couple hundred thousand dollars. It was, you, you were basically had to be to be. immobile for like six to eight weeks. Unless it's done in like South America well, they're, somewhere. They're, they're fucking with your femurs and That's shit, like right? That's like the bunion surgery too, though. The, the bunions. How, your grandma got bunions. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, turn the volume up. Let's see what these I guys tear are. you apart. Oh, shit. Is there any way you can pipe it through the audio? to this surgery is the consultation and that's when we meet together <laughs> Matt, uh, so that I got a great idea for a and video <laughs> and that's a good time to ask any additional questions that hasn't already been that guy was like 80 <laughs> yeah did you see that guy yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> that guy sitting there for both of us to meet so that I could examine you and make sure that that, that guy that bothers me because that guy looked tall <laughs> uh, so the consultation involves you know asking a few questions and then I would do a physical exam because I really need to know how. Yeah, like, come on, man. It's too late to yeah. be getting taller. Oh, Papito, Papito wants to go in there and fucking. All your muscles and joints get a little bit tight. So you got to have good flexibility oh my God. prior to your surgery. Uh, if you don't have very good flexibility, start working on it now. After the physical exam, then I have you take x-rays so that I could measure your bones and make sure that there's no issues uh, that are going to take place with the insertion of the nail. Oh uh, my God! Your bone can't be too curved. Uh, it cannot have any kind of defects. So these are the things that I look for, and at the same time, I make the uh, custom oh my God uh, measurements for the nails that you're gonna need. After that, we'll talk about finances regarding the surgery, and then if you're ready at that time and I see that it's a good fit for you, then we could schedule fucking a butchers a surgery date for you. <laughs> really? So what are you talking about? He's, 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 they're signing up for the procedure. They tear you apart in there. They are. That, that is a butcher. Sometimes you have to do it. It's got to be a brutal fucking surgery. Oh, yeah. I do understand that people are concerned regarding a pandemic, and we've been doing surgeries uh, during this whole time. Uh, in fact, okay, you can shut her down. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's see the before yeah. and after. The guy went three inches. Five, six to five, nine. How would you like that, Matt? Do you think they could do this for your fucking dick? <laughs> They can make your oh, cock sure. three inches longer. I, I hear that they, they, sure they that's have that. They have a surgery. Too. I heard that their surgery is extremely fucking like dangerous. Like people die all the time getting that fucking surgery done. The rate of people that die getting the fucking penis extension surgery. All right, you can is, turn it off, Austin. It's wild. Really? Yeah, I read that. Fa- I read that fact somewhere. I wonder why. I yeah. have no idea. Yeah, it's, is that some shit you shouldn't be fucking with? Yeah. Austin, can you pull up some before and afters on here? You get penis surgery. That's like so. That just sounds dangerous. Yeah. Of the height thing, not the penis thing. <laughs> what's more da- <laughs> what, What's more absurd? Do you think penis enlargement or limb lengthening? Limb lengthening. Absurd. I mean, it, being someone who it needs both. Um, <laughs> it's a toss up. Right? <laughs> I, I, I admire your honesty. <laughs> no, Wh- which one's more absurd? Yeah. Oh, bro! I would never. Fuck limb with, lengthening I would sounds never a little more my absurd, shit, to be no, honest. I, I would. Limb lengthening does. Like I could understand a lot of people they, probably want both to ex- extend Look at their penis size, oh, but that's a kind of not to, a very to great get your photo. Limbs extended. She she insane. got taller. What the hell is she doing? Oh, that tall? look at that, man! Bro, all these guys. This is outrageous. Like yeah. I mean, these they, these aren't subtle height. Changes. Yeah, these are these big, are, big height differences. Yeah, I want to see like their legs. What their legs look like? Let's see the fuck. I don't. Don't wear jeans. I don't want to see. His shit looks tore up. God damn. Ooh, wow. What are they extending? Like the lower the part femur. of the femur. I mean, I you're, think you're femur, your skin bro. stretches. <laughs> no, find, I some know, more, but find some more good f- photos, Austin. This is Oh, my God. It. Look at this guy. Nine months later, the little time. He looks like a little. He looked like a little person in the other one. <laughs> That's yeah, wild. Man. It the, seems like. The oh one guy. God, look at this. Extra, look. Right where it says nine months later. Look, look how tiny. Fucking leg. 
That's got to be oh clickbait. Oh, my God. That's the same picture. They only did one. Oh, you can only do one leg at a time because <gasps> oh, it takes hell. the recovery time. Oh, my God. So then what happens? You got to wait for it to heal, then they do the other it's leg. It's got to be a gimp till you're And you're, you're all hobbling around for fucking six yeah, months. Yeah, it's just like the bunion surgery, bro. It's wild. <clears throat> bunion surgery. Yeah, hmm. people got fucked up feet where they have like a can You've seen like a hammer toe? I got one. Where like Danny you, has bad the bunions. side of it it's comes just out. It's always on gangster lean? No, just Google Super <laughs> lean. Find it, Austin. Show me a picture. Type in bunion. It, this is fucking nasty. Some of them are really gross. He said, "Type in bunion." B u n i o n, <laughs> and people get the their foot like surgery on their foot just to straight like straighten a bone in their foot, right? And they're off their feet. His grandma <laughs> got it. Their feet and oh, oh, well, they, that happens like women more than it does men. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what Danny's foot looks like right oh, there. Pikachu. Oh, oh man, oh. look at that one. Look, look, look at the yellow one. Oh, oh. The, the surgery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look. see that? I mean, oh, that's bad. Very oh. graphic. Oh. That's not as bad as that's... limb lengthening. What? You think that's worse than limb lengthening? I don't know. I have Flint that's Flintstone gross. feet. I have little tiny, fat little <laughs> Flintstone feet. Google LeBron James' foot. Have you seen LeBron James' foot? He, he's got that same foot. A lot of athletes have super bunions, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're smashing their feet all the time. Yeah, they're feet LeBron's down. fucking bam, bam, bam. nasty Rush. looking feet. Yeah. yeah, LeBron's got some of the grossest looking feet I've ever seen. Him, Antonio Brown, you've seen his feet? And a lot After of After all the frostbite? After all the frostbite? Oh, what? What is that? It's LeBron's foot. Go to that one below it, bottom right. What? Are you well, serious? Below that. Yeah, that's his foot, man. It's all fricked That's up. what my foot looks like, basically, except half the size and white. Same color. <laughs> <laughs> what what is fuck? going on, Yeah, bro. This is taking a dangerous turn. Yeah. Yeah, this is all bad, bro. I don't need this. Yeah, bro. Can we? Let's talk about something else. <laughs> it's freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, so I don't have any of those problems. No, no. My, with my feet, no. No. Uh-uh. You just got crazy amounts of tattoos. And that's not necessarily a problem. It's kind of similar. <laughs> no, it's not a problem. It's like uh it's just like Matt getting his hairline fixed. That's not really a problem. <clears throat> it's just something he wanted to do. Yeah. It's true. It's art. <laughs> it's art, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's something. It's fine art. What the fuck are these paintings behind you, Matt? These I, are, I, these I did are those. mine. These are Oh, his. you did these? I did these. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't even know you painted. Yeah, I do. I do paint. I'm a very. I'm an amateur painter. I'm nothing. Not. Seasoned. I know you're good at Photoshop. Season, not seasoned <laughs> like Matt. Yeah, you know, I'm. I am an artist. I've been tattooing for like 15 years and um, extremely proficient with Photoshop and other, uh, you know, document or I'm sorry, photo editing <laughs> software. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, these are mine. I did paint these. I brought them here to maybe try and hawk today. <laughs> We're gonna try to help them. Where can people buy them? What? Um, yeah. So if yeah, like just reach out to me on Instagram and we can get it worked out. What? what what's his name? It's Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey Hustle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He he painted Nipsey Hustle and then told That's me the story sick. about him. R.I.P. Nip. <laughs> Matt didn't Matt didn't know who Nipsey Hustle no, was. I didn't know who he was. Yeah. Not surprised. And then I like Jess Scrooge McDuck in. with the Ace of Spades. Jess walked in and asked me about it. I was like, Yeah, oh, that's Nipsey Hustle. The wallpaper, yeah, you know, wallpaper yeah. behind that is actually um, I had a company uh, make prop money. Uh-huh. Uh, it's w- him with me on the with me on the hundred dollar bill. No way. Yeah. So it's my face on the hundred dollar bill. You should have brought one. One of the ones. I, that was, gonna bring, I was gonna bring a stack of them, man. And then, but you I should make business cards forgot. that are like Amex cards with your face on them. Oh, that would be dope. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Hmm. Make it happen. How much are those paint? What are you gonna sell those for? Uh, Nipsey is like five hundred. Okay. Uh, he's thirty three by forty eight acrylic on canvas, and uh, he's all sealed up. We uh, seal I, them up with. I charge uh, like I charge like a grand. A grand, nah, five hundred plus shipping. It's all good in the hood. Um, and then the smaller ones is like one hundred and fifty uh, plus shipping. Yeah, so like I think it's like twenty dollars to ship them anywhere in the United States. Is uh, is Donald Duck snorting coke? <clears throat> yeah, so that's um, actually I took said silver and gold, and it was like <clears throat> I did like a silver and gold, you know, capitalism uh, meets meets pop art meets. Yeah, but you uh, know, yeah. I like can hammer those like out. Looks like cocaine's flying off the painting. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought that too. I was like, well, you know, maybe he's sniffing cocaine off the. That works. He looks yeah. happy. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. You know, I just want to paint and do YouTube. Uh, and you know, I haven't. Um, I'm I'm a Florida cracker, and you know, I had to come back home. Um, you know, I haven't really found a tattoo shop to to really get into yet. I haven't even really. Consider I'd like I'd like you know I want a tattoo but it's like 
I just want to paint and do YouTube. When's the last uh, time you did a tattoo? It's been a few weeks. I got been here like a few weeks, like two or three weeks. So could you do tattoos live on the podcast? Hell yeah, we can. Really? Hell yeah. Damn, Fuck we should do yeah. one. We should definitely do that. Hell yeah. Yeah, we can bring it in, set the cameras up, and you ready uh, to get yeah. concrete tattooed? That would be dope. <laughs> I don't know about that. We should reach out to somebody and <laughs> have them come in, and, for that. and we'll have them come in, and we'll, I'll, ta- I'll tattoo the concrete podcast logo on them. Fuck Hell yeah! yeah. One of like a super fan or something like that. Yeah, we'll do it live rad. on the air. We'll do it live. Yeah, <clears throat> a super fan. That's good. Yeah, that's good. You uh, could throw. Yeah. We can do a live one where people like uh, people like the doctor. You could do like a they a lottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People could like you know how you can like make donations on YouTube Live. Yeah, we could do that and then just like bring Matt and we could tattoo Matt and no, people pay for tattoos. <laughs> I've never had a tattoo. If someone paid, would you the, get one? If the doctor paid you five grand, the doctor, uh, five grand for something. I trust the doctor. Like mm-hmm. if Danny said, "I'll pay you five grand," I'd be like, "No, I'm Hell saying, no. what if somebody no. legitimately like was going to pay YouTube, me five? What do I have to get and where?" I can't believe I'm talking about this. They have to say something. They say whatever. Like uh, they no, could. No, not getting whatever. I want to know where and what. You know, um, what's a good example? Well, what could it be? What if somebody said tattoo uh, Jess's name on you? Matt's not getting a tattoo. What if somebody where? said tattoo Jess's name you on us? your ass on the podcast? <laughs> um, why does it have to be embarrassing like, on your ass silly, on a silly place? Speaking like, of why ass can't tattoos, it be, nobody's gonna see it. Do you? Get do you, do you remember Marty Ray? <clears throat> Yeah. Did you have Marty Ray on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, does the Marty Ray project. Yeah, he had me on his podcast, and I I said on his podcast that if somebody wanted to pay five thousand dollars, I made him ten thousand dollars, that I would get Marty Ray's and his partner's portraits tattooed on my ass cheeks, <laughs> full co- full color. Yeah, and he, they thought I was joking. They thought it was a joke, but I was fucking dead ass serious. Um, so I he didn't really promote it or anything like that, but. We can still make that happen. Hell yeah. <laughs> we can make it happen. Yeah, Marty Ray. So, <laughs> Matt, what if somebody said they wanted the Twin Towers tattooed on your ass? No. The Twin no. Towers. <laughs> I don't want to how do much, that. How much would it have to be? <laughs> Matt's going to get. It'd have to be a lot. How much is a lot? I mean, Matt's gonna at get this a point in my life, a lot is a lot less than it used to be. What? 2500 2500 what? Dollars? No. Oh, no. Five grand? Euros? No. I was thinking fifty or a hundred grand. Whoa! Oh my God. Whoa! Wow, this guy's got expensive Kidding taste. Me? I would do it for fucking five grand. <laughs> there you go. If anybody's listening, five thousand dollars. He'll uh, Boziakal tattoo. I'll get the nine. Twin I'll tower. get the twin towers on my ass. I don't want to get the. Tw- I don't want to get anything tattooed on me. <clears throat> I'm not a tattoo guy. Yeah, that's the Tats- point. You know, Matt's gonna get a tramp stamp. It's gonna say "Shark in the Housing Pool." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that's good. That's good. Oh, all right. oh so my when is, god! When is this? Wh- what are we? Are that's we done yet? Fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Get the Coleman logo. Oh, oh my man. god! <laughs> Property of FBOP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get my reg number. Yeah. <laughs> Would you do that? Would you get a portrait of the emperor? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that is good. <laughs> where? It listen. Lower, where is lo- important? Lower back. At Low- the- <laughs> lower back. At the tramp stamp. Yeah. No, <clears throat> has to be the emperor's choice. No. What about like your cat on your cat? How did I get to be the butt of this fucking <laughs> podcast? Because everyone wants to see Matt Cox get a tattoo. I no. Know it. no. Do you have any tattoos? Yeah. What? I got a Goodyear blimp. Where? No, on my don't. thigh. Let's do you see. really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so random. <laughs> yeah. Why? Listen, this because dude, our it, friend, our friend, our friend Luke, his wife was uh was she was, was a tattoo apprentice. practicing. She was doing an apprentice mm. to tattoo. Yeah. So you have to do like a certain amount of free tattoos before you can start charging. Yeah. And so we picked, we offered me and him both offered to be like a free tattoo. You picked the good year. Yeah, it's blimp. an inside joke that we have from high school. We just called Danny Blimphead because his head's real big. Yeah. <laughs> I got a big so head. It, it stuck <laughs> around for a long time. So like, hey, get a blimp, a Goodyear blimp tattooed on your leg. I was like, okay, fuck it. What'd you get? Uh, I got a Humpty Dumpty on my thigh. <laughs> Giant. Big ass Giant fucking egg. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this guy came in a few months ago. Uh, I, was, I was just working at a, a tattoo shop in Indianapolis. Um, I was in Indiana. I don't know if you know that. I was in fucking Indiana for like six months before I came here. For what? Uh, I got swindled into coming out there, man. I was in, I was living in Phoenix. Um, swindled. And yeah, I got swindled for sure. And this dude reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to come to uh, Sturgis, South Dakota, and tattoo during Bike Week. Hell yeah! For like five days. 
And I had never been to Sturgis. I had never done Sturgis. So I was like, fuck it, and I get to tattoo. So I went up to Sturgis. Uh, I tattooed for like five <clears throat> days or six days or whatever it was. And then um, he asked me if I wanted to uh, do a guest spot at his shop in this small town in uh, just outside of um, Indianapolis, Indiana. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, it's summertime. And I was like, figure I'd go out there and make a couple more thousand dollars. And so I go out there. Um, and I just got super comfortable. He had, like, a, he had like a cool shop. I thought it was cool. You know what I mean? And, like, he gave me, like, my own big booth and everything. And, like, mm-hmm. kind of, like, talked me into, just, like, working full time mm-hmm. at the shop. And it's like, and at that time, it's like, I was living in Phoenix. And I really wasn't doing that much tattooing. Like, I was. But it wasn't, like, I wasn't busy. You know what I mean? And then, like, but Indiana, wherever, like, for whatever reason, he just had a really busy shop. So I could literally show up and tattoo for 12 hours a day, seven days a week if I wanted to. Damn. Really? Yeah, it's that. It was that busy. You know, and that's all I've ever wanted. I just wanted a tattoo at that point, you know, because I didn't give what a fuck was the most, about What was the most fucked up tattoo you did when you were at Sturgis? Oh, um. I bet you there were some fucking characters coming out. Oh, there. yeah, there was, but it was like, I just did a lot of Harley badges. Like the, really? like the, ba- like what do they call it? The badge and shield and badge mm-hmm. or yeah. bar and shield the or whatever logo, it is. The Harley logo. It's the bar and shield. I did so many of those. Fucking, I doing husbands and wife with each other's names in them and fucking <clears> so many of those. Um, Which just a lot of weird biker tattoos. I wonder what the most popular tattoo in the world is. Like, what what tattoo do you think more people have? It depends than on who you are. Would pro- Harley would probably be up there. Butterflies and fucking hearts. I've done really? probably more of those in my entire career than I have anything else. Butterflies and hearts. Butterfly hearts and butterflies, infinity symbols. You know all the little Pinterest fucking bullshit. Those teenage girls or not the teenage girls, but you know the young mm. girls come in and get. Um, mm. Yeah, I've done a lot of those. I think the most. Well, I wouldn't say fucked up tattoo I did, but the most wild tattoo I've ever done was probably when... So I was working at this tattoo shop in Miami. It was a 24-hour shop. And if you guys know anything about like 24-hour tattoo shops, they're always pretty sketch. You know what I mean? Like They're always in a sketchy part of the fucking of town, and they're open 24 hours, and you got all kinds of drunks and transients coming in at like 3 o'clock in the morning, all kinds of wild shit. Yeah. And so this... this I'm, I'm working there. It's literally like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's me. Uh, I'm working there with a dude named Gus. And Gus is fucking tattooing. He's working on somebody. And I'm sitting at the front counter. And in strolls what I could only describe as a fucking vampire. Okay? <laughs> this chick was a fucking vampire. It was like 2.30, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. She strolls in. Um, gothic. Completely head to toe. Gothed out. I mean, like she just... Um, went to Hot Topic and bought every fucking, you know, I'm sure, but it wasn't like cheap Hot Topic shit. Like, she was like a seasoned, you can tell it wasn't like the dollar, yeah. she wasn't a dollar store goth person. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, she, mm. her shit was legitimate. It was a real deal. Yeah. She was the real deal. And she comes in and, you know, just like I'm talking to you now, um, we're having a conversation that says, yeah, you know, whatever, you know, what do you want to do? She comes in, she says, um, uh, I want to, I, I want to get a spider web tattooed on the inside of my asshole. <laughs> Without even flinching, I said, "Come on back, <laughs> let's do it." Hell yeah, yeah! And she came, and then I was like, "Well, you know," I started showing her pictures of you know, like what, like what style do you want? Fucking, you know, how are we gonna knock the, how are we gonna do this thing? Just like a regular client. And then um, when it came time to do the tattoo, I'm like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to like spread your cheeks for me and hold them, because I was like, I don't have anybody else here to help me. You know what I mean? Hold your cheeks open while I do this. So I, you did this." Yeah, she got down on on her on her on her hands on her on, on the table and put her face in the pillow and she spread her ass cheeks and I I tattooed a uh, a pretty fucking sick spider web. Um, How deep into her asshole did you go? I went right up to the fucking brown eye. Really? Yeah, I ran. Imagine I, you spread her cheeks and she's fucking hemorrhoids coming out and you're like, got a fucking tattoo or fucking she fucking hemorrhoided asshole. Well, no, yeah, we, it's it was apparent, you know, that she gets her clown punched on a regular. You know, you can always uh, tell. What made that apparent? It was just like a gaping hole. Well, dude, you can tell when somebody fucking they do a lot of anal. I don't, I don't know how, how many assholes you've seen in your lifetime, but I've seen my fair share. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you can always tell. You can always tell because they kind of like come out a little bit, like fucking. They come. What out do they call bit? that? There's a name for that. It's called fucking whatever prolapse or whatever. Like, I I don't you, like you, you never like an, like an Audi asshole. Yes. That's called a hemorrhoid. Yeah. No, that's called a prolapsed fucking colon. I fucking, All right, Austin. If you want to go- give it a goog there, Austin. Austin yeah. Do your job. <laughs> I'm no, not yeah. sure we need images of that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. Google image that. Prolapsed uh, colon. But yeah, you know, so you can always tell. But uh, yeah, I just ran my line straight from the fucking... <laughs> Look at Did Danny. you have to like wash your asshole first? 
Um, no, there she was, there was no like poop in there. No, there was no poop particles or uh, she it was it was pretty, you know, there was devoid of any hair or fucking, you know, pimples or anything like that. She didn't fart once. There was nothing uh, obstructing, you know, my How long did it take? Oh, he's not phased. About 45 minutes. Gonna, he didn't let Danny phase him at all. He just keeps no, going. No, it's about 45 minutes. About 40, 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Staring yeah. at her asshole. And I told her, I said, you know, you, you this might get infected. I was like, so you can't come back here and, and you know what I mean? Like, complain yeah, if it dude, gets infected. Yeah, dude, her asshole could get fucking MRSA or something. Yeah, <clears> so, you know, poop particles in an open wound definitely she is. She just didn't give it's, a fuck. It's not the way to go. But, dude, this chick had, like, body modifications. She had, like, these implants in her forehead that fucking were, like, oh fucking horns. God, dude. dude, the chick was on the level. Yeah. What is she, a, was, she was on the left. This wasn't out of the norm for her. Yeah, and she and she had these platform boots on, so she was like fucking, you know what I mean? Came in the door, and she was just as tall as the fucking door of the fucking, oh, yeah, she and was sick. somebody's daughter, dude. That's some guy's little daughter. Listen, there's, like listen imagine somebody a did, chick maybe, like that just. Somebody did a number on her. At, imagine, one, point, listen, at one point in her life, she was a five year, little five-year-old toddler, like, running around the playground with daddy, and now yeah. she's getting her fucking dude, imagine balloon a chick knot tattooed prowl, by John Prowling Bergen. around fucking Miami in the fucking the middle of the night, fucking you bump into her at, like, a gas station or something <sighs> like it. You know what I mean? Going down to get some swishers and fucking running into her at the fucking. How bad does that have to hurt, you think, that? It had to, yeah, I mean, that's got to be that pretty intense, dude. Yeah, that, right? the inside of the fucking arsehole's got to be pretty intense, for sure. Yeah. For sure, yeah. 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 But what was she doing when you were doing it? Was she, like, flinching really hard? Was she Reading just, like, a book. took it like a champ? Was she, was she <laughs> fucked up? Was she, on, was she taking, like, um, you were just watching one of what your kind of drugs podcasts? Take, yeah, right? She kind of seemed like she was on downers, maybe. You had to be, Or right? that maybe was just her personality. You, you think she I was mean? on the Blue Boys? I don't know, man. Who knows with that chick? Listen, I tattooed a dude um, on the rock. She's on the rocks. I tattooed a dude in Indianapolis, and this motherfucker came in all banged up. I don't know what he was on heroin or fucking or, or oxycodone or something. I tattooed his face, and he slept completely through it. I tattooed <laughs> oh him both God. sides. I mean, the dude was covered, and he had tattoos all over That's, his fucking face. You know the story of Gucci Man when he got his ice cream tattooed in his face. He got that the day he got out of fucking the mental institution. <clears throat> yeah, he was. Just, I think he slept. I think they interviewed his tattoo artist, and his ha- tattoo artist said he slept through the whole thing. Oh, he's on meds for sure. Oh yeah, he was heavily. If he was coming straight out of the psych ward, he was fucking heavily medicated. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah, because that's the day he got released from the psych ward, he got the fucking ice cream cone on his face. Yeah, no, this, I tattooed a big money bag in this dude's fucking face, yeah, and he, he fucking... sent me a picture of when he was doing it. I posted it, it to of, my Instagram. Yeah, of the guy. Like, I boom, he said, this guy, I'm tattooing this guy, he's asleep right now. <laughs> and then I said, I've tried to, and then he's... Yeah. With his mouth open, <laughs> and I had the stencil on his face. Yeah, the dude was all banged up on something. It was fucking hilarious. Holy I've never tattooed anybody's face, and they fucking snored through it. That was a first for me. To him. And I've been tattooing a long time, yeah. Yeah, it was wild. My leg they didn't really hurt that bad. The t- I got t- top of my thigh. It wasn't really mm-hmm. as bad as I thought it would be. I, I yeah. It fucking hurt. The belly, dude, for me was probably the worst. Um, really? Yeah, it was the fucking worst, man. It was the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah. Out of everything I have. Have you ever tattooed someone's dick? I've never done a penis. Uh, no. I just, that's just, I refuse. You know, that's you where I draw the line. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's where I draw <laughs> I the line. I don't know. It's probably more sanitary than a girl's asshole. I mean, unless asshole. it was like a buddy or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, no um, don't look at me, bro. <laughs> Matt, let's get your fucking, let's get your schlong tattooed. I, I think, listen, we're going to have to start having like a list of things we, we can't, topics <laughs> we cannot discuss. Yeah. You know, but Why? I think for yeah. the does for the right you, price, does that make you uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Matt's afraid that he might turn gay. <laughs> or the uh, what was yeah. the other one that made me feel uncomfortable? Other than the oh, the penis extension, the the legs thing. Yeah, you're hitting on all the buttons. <laughs> We're hitting them all. <laughs> what's that famous quote? What's that? What's a uh, what's that quote about? Uh, I forget what who had that quote, but he said something about homophobe or people who hate gays. The only people who hate gays are idiots and people who are afraid that they might be gay. <laughs> dumb, dumb people and then people who are afraid that they might be gay. <clears throat> it's probably true. Those are the kind of people that hate gays. Or that are secretly gay themselves. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, same and thing. And are just mad at the world. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. Those are homophobes. Yeah, I have a cousin um, that, we, that I grew up with uh, my whole life. And he would always, every few years, he would just, like, wildly change, like, his whole, like, who he was. Like, so, okay, first he started out back in the day, like, when we were kids, he was a punk rocker. He wore the fucking, the wristbands, he had the the mohawk, he was in a punk rock band, played guitar the whole night. Uh, And then he became, like, we got a little bit older in the middle school, he became, like, a, a skateboarder, like a skater. And that became, and then, like, and so every time he changed, like, what he did with his life, that became his whole persona. 
So Ooh. then he went from being a punk rocker to like a skater. He was like That's hardcore he fucking skateboarder, you know, a skater, which is like, it's a usual transition because, you know, punk rock kids, they skateboard and, mm -hmm. you know, they grow out of the fucking punk rock shit and they get into skating, which is, th yeah. that's the normal transition. Mm -hmm. Then he would, then he went into hip hop and he was going to be like a rapper. Uh, he was at the, and then, listen, he, when he goes in, he fucking goes all the way in. Like he would go to the studio every day. He was doing shows, like not. He didn't have like a fucking record contract selling out, but he was doing like little like venues like around town and shit. You know what I mean? Like open like they like they book fucking. He had some little dude that was going and booking him shows. I think he opened up for Three Six Mafia uh, one time. That, really? That's, that's a crazy sick. story. I hit DJ Paul with a fucking beer that night. No. Yeah, yeah, because this stupid bitch I was with fucking runs up on stage. One second. Keep going. Keep going. This stupid bitch I'm with runs up on stage because at the end of every show, like DJ Paul and like Juicy J and shit, they come out and they're like, they start, you know, they do crowd work. Mm -hmm. And he was, and Juicy J came out and he was like, I'll give the first bitch who gets up on stage and gets cornholed a thousand dollars. And who do you think the first cunt fucking run to run up on stage was? The bitch I'm with, the, my girlfriend at the time. I'm yeah. like, this fucking stupid, dirty whore. And, you know, of course, she's got the fake titties. So she's always, so she gets up there and immediately just takes off her shirt. Pulls the titties out. We're in a packed fucking, we're in a packed fucking venue with, with like 5,000 people, 1,000 people here. It's fucking insane. So she pulls up, she goes up on stage. First thing she does, takes off her shirt. Her fucking titties are out. And I'm so fucking pissed. I just whiz my beer up at her. You know, I'm standing in the crowd. I fucking whiz my beer up there, trying to hit her with it. I hit DJ Paul on accident with my beer. <sighs> oh, so then shit. the guy standing next to me, I grab his beer out of his hand, and I fucking whiz that one up there. And that one fucking hits security. Then all of a sudden, all the lights come on. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just do an about face, and I immediately just walk fucking right out of the club. Yeah, dumb cunt. And then I, I, she had her purse in my car. I took it out, and I dumped it out in the fucking parking lot like this. The whole fucking thing. <laughs> fucking kicked it like a soccer ball, that bitch. Anyway. What was Adios. I talking about? How did this start with your cousin who always changed everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's get back to that. I got off on a fucking... I had to tell a side story. Right, so every couple of years, my cousin, like, changes who he is, and he makes that his whole persona. So after the hip-hop shit kind of, like, fizzled out, he became, like, this hardcore... Uh, right wing Republican fucking anti government. You know they're gonna fucking confiscate your guns. He was wearing all fatigues. He was posting on Facebook every day, getting kicked off. You know, like and he thought he was in a, like some kind of militia. And then he turned into a transgender. Oh, now he's no longer James. He's Jamie. No way. I swear <laughs> to fucking God, he's a trans fucking gender now. He's covering all the bases. This is a good segue to the uh, transgender uh, oh, yeah. that got the two other fe the two female um, the prison. Yeah, two prison female uh, yeah. prisoners pregnant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you a link. I'll send you a, a screenshot of that. Awesome. Yeah, but now up. he's uh, and he shows up at all the family functions um, as Jamie. But then as the night goes on, he like literally like starts changing his clothes and changing his voice <laughs> and shit. And then by the end of the night, he's fucking Jamie or whatever the girl. And I'm like, listen, this motherfucker isn't a transgender. He's mentally ill is yeah, what it is. Just, right, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't right. fucking do all of these things throughout your whole entire life, and now all of a sudden you're a transgender? Like, that's fucking insanity. Not that I don't have anything against transgender. I don't give a fuck. Do what you do. What, Get it how you live. What is that, though? Like, what is that about somebody uh, who wants to change their identity that every, much? Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's something. It's some kind of dysfunction he has, mm -hmm. man, yeah. You know, but, you know, whatever. If he wants to live his life as a woman now, that's, you know, <clears> do, <throat> do, do, do what you do, but... You know, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's fucking crazy. And when, listen, my other cousin called me and told me that. I'm like, no fucking way. He's like, dude, I swear to God. He's like, and then he shot me a link. And I guess he's on Pornhub riding a fucking 12-inch dildo. Oh, Who man. Is, what? Yeah, dude. Yeah, fucking. It was, I, didn't, I didn't watch it. I didn't click on the link. But uh, fucking. Imagine fuck. if he was on Pornhub riding a 12-inch dildo wearing a Trump hat and the fatigues. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, just how many? How bases. confusing would that? Yeah, dude. Be? He's like so now he's like a transgender porn star and like the whole oh, thing is oh, just man. fucking yeah. out of control, dude. My, I'm telling you, dude. My family's fucked up, man. dude. That is, we need to get him on here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, gotta, better hurry before he switches to something else. Yeah. yeah, Austin, put that back up on the screen. <clears throat> well, so what? Ha what happened with the person in jail? The transgender. Uh, so a guy, a transgender woman, a guy who's now a woman, transitioned to female, right? But is it but a female has not, prison? But has no, 
No, yes, it, uh, it was a, a man that is now saying he's he identifies as a female, but hasn't had the surgery. Just said, "Hey, I'm a woman." They said, "Oh, well, then you need to go to the woman's prison." He said, "Yes, I do." Yeah, There's I no do. way they and allow that. If, read, oh, read if you whole, have a dick, they'll let New you go Jersey. to the prison. You got two women pregnant. S- yeah. Just, yeah. Read the whole fucking thing. Liberal judge or whatever up there in New Jersey, they passed all these laws now. Yeah. So I li- yeah. I listened to the whole to a. They like don't a have fucking minute. DeSanto. No. <laughs> <laughs> I DeSanto for president. Thing. DeSanto. You like DeSanto for president? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he'd be pretty good. I mean, he'd be I awesome. And, and they were they were they was making jokes. They said, uh, well, they don't they don't want to take him away. We need him down there. Like, we don't need to want to take him away from Florida. Yeah. And they're right. like, fucking Trump could be the goddamn governor of Florida. Yeah. yeah. He would win. Oh yeah. It's the greatest Trump? it's the greatest state in the country. Yeah, yeah. Trump <laughs> don't want to be the fucking governor. I don't think Trump's gonna be the president again either. I don't think he'll do it. You don't think so? You no. don't think he's gonna run in twenty twenty four? I don't know. I don't think. I don't Look know. at this don't guy. So? He swindled the whole system for sure. He's looking <laughs> right. at the camera. He's like, I can't believe they let me fucking do this. Can yeah. you fucking believe they yeah. let me in here? I Holy love the state of New Jersey. Shit. So what, what happened? Scroll down, down a little bit. In here. <laughs> yeah, so it's an all women's prison, and then out of nowhere, two of the uh, Demetrius just show up pregnant. I, don't I, I think they. I think they actually read it if you on one of these. He impregnated two of the two. female inmates. Two. But no, don't don't call says, him a it man. Says, it says inmates. Yeah. So See, two female inmates. That is fucking. A, he's wild. a guy. He's a guy. He's in in a female. That is prison. fucking wild that they would let him in there. Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. Like at the end of the day, dude. In New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the only state that allows that? Uh, there's quite a few. I'm sure. Yeah, really? there's quite a few that they're doing. I'm it. sure yeah. there's more than one. I mean, it's no different than all those transgenders going into women's sports and just fucking, like, shattering records and shit. Why the fuck wouldn't... Are they if, really shattering records? I mean, it's... Women's like, records? Yeah, because they're women. Yeah, women. Because <laughs> I, w- kind of I, think, I think what the but argument... But fucked up, right? I think what yeah. the argument is, when it really boils down to, uh, when the Supreme Court sets these fucking <laughs> proceedances for, like, you know, um, equal fucking rights for, you know, everybody, and you got... They had, you know, the Supreme Court saying that now you have to recognize... Whatever gender I, I identify with now that has to be recognized, not only, you know, fucking person to person, but it has to be recognized now, like, Supreme Court says so. So now the argument is, I'm, you know, if the Supreme Court says I'm a woman, why am I in a men's prison? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So then, so there's like a catch-22 and everybody's like, oh my god, I don't know what to do and nobody wants to fucking, you know, yeah, uh, you fight it because the they're up for re-election, yeah. you know what I mean? They don't want to well, be... Well, if you're a security guard in there, say you're some woke security guard in, the, in uh, the prison or whatever, and you support it, and you walk by and you see, uh, you know, you're all about, you know, transgender rights, change, right. you know, everything is... Well, inmates, this is the right thing Inmates to do. aren't supposed to be... They're having, not supposed to have sex not, no That's what. against the rules regardless. Yeah. Whether it's two oh, men or two yeah, women. Yeah. yeah. So you think you're a security guard and you're that's walking by... That's a naughty, naughty. And you see... They're correctional officers. Correctional officer walking by and you see some guy just fucking and banging down some chick. They would they would immediately <laughs> you get in trouble. Put the hose on them. Yeah. First you, yeah. Gotta, first you gotta separate them. Yeah. And then they both go to the shoe. Yeah. And then they both get okay. written up for whatever, yeah. having sex. There used there was a time when they used to write an incident report and then they would mail it home oh, to your family. My God. But they stopped oh, doing fucked. that. Yeah, that was like twenty years ago. And they would mail it home. So your wife would know two men, like your husband is having oh, sex with another man. Wow. Oh. And then they stopped doing that. Wow. Imagine this guy's family gets the letter. They're like, God damn, Demetrius. Look what he's up to now. <laughs> His father's probably proud. He's like, smart man. You game the system. Yeah. yeah. Everybody does their time different. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Everybody does their time different. I think more men should compete in women's sports, though. I like it. We need to show them who's, you know, we need to show them that we're the dominant, we're the dominant gender. Yeah, it's funny, man. It's just, a, the, I, I don't know. The whole thing's just bananas to me, to be honest with you. Leah me. Thomas, that was her name, yeah. Has anyone ever interviewed her about it? I haven't. I mean, I haven't gone looking for any interviews. Or uh, any, sure. any of the girls that she competed against? I haven't come across any interviews or anything. There's girls that came out and stuff, saying stuff. Yeah, I'm sure the other girls are probably pissed off. What do they say? They're upset. Yeah, there's all the kinds they, of controversy about it. They're like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. They've been trained in their whole life to dominate a sport, yeah. and then this guy just comes in and smokes them. <laughs> fucking, like, with Not ease. even close. He's like fucking reading a book, think- fucking swimming faster than them. Pull oh, up, was David Lucas. Pull up yeah, David yeah. Lucas. Pull, find a clip. That about, was fucking a David Lucas. Yeah, 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 yeah David yeah, Lucas yeah. talking about LeBron James going yeah, to the NBA. Yeah, that's my buddy, man. Yeah, he's funny as hell, man. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Dude, David Lucas is... Hey, I was the first uh, episode of his podcast. He's a funny looking guy. Were you really? Yeah, I was out in LA and I did oh, the very first episode. Oh, didn't you do it too, Matt? No, that uh, was a no, that, was, was, that was Brothers in Cursive. Yeah. But that was still David Lucas. Yeah, he was on. He, did, he, he was, was doing that, but the then he went, did. He did. Now he's doing the. He did the Fat Pessimist, which was his own like Just solo. Type in David Lucas on YouTube. You gotta look it up his YouTube channel. Yeah, now he's doing like reaction, like reaction shit. Yeah, to just like funny reaction. He's yeah, not, I don't yeah, think yeah. he's not really doing too much of a podcast anymore. I mean, I'm sure he would, but yeah, no, he just uh, yeah, I see. I've been seeing he's just doing like the reaction. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, but that's good, he man, because it's like funny. I couldn't shit. understand why he was he wasn't really putting out a lot of content. So I'm sure somebody got in his ear and was like, "Listen, man, you just need to fucking do something." Do and that, something you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why he's just starting now. Now, because like this is more, like recent that he's been doing like all these like reactionary videos and shit yeah. like the past, and, in the past few months and and Joe Rogan likes all of his shit on Instagram too yeah so yeah he's getting a boost you're probably seeing that somebody's like, like listen oh my god I you need to something. put something out yeah you need to Joe Rogan's something. liking all your photos on Instagram and all your videos you got to start doing well more. he he's uh, you went on tour with Rogan yeah I know because he's really yeah. I think David Lucas came up like doing the Tony Hinchcliffe show yeah kill Tony yeah. yeah 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 when I was out in LA dude, that was in that whole comedy scene like I used to go to the comedy store all the time I was in the Laugh Factory I used to go to Ha Ha Really? Yeah, fucking I had Jack Jr. and fucking uh, David Lucas on my podcast when I was in Phoenix. Really? Yeah, I went out and seen him at the comedy club and I fucking, because I seen Lucas was coming out and I was like, oh, fuck, let me go out here and surprise it's, him. It's David Lucas talking about the transgender shit. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. And um, it's not about LeBron. Yeah, I had them both on the podcast. Uh, tattooed them both. I uh, tattooed. You tattooed? Uh, yeah, I tattooed. What uh, kind of tattoo David did you get? Lucas. I don't remember what I did on him. I did something. I remember right here for like his daughter or something like that. Oh, I really? tattooed uh, Jack Jr., yeah. See, David Lucas had a fish fry, and uh, Burt Kreischer no, showed not up. On here. No. Yeah. <laughs> Burt Kreischer came really? out to his Lucas' fish fry. Yeah, they're out there filming. Burt's I, funny as hell. I love Burt Kreischer, man. <laughs> yeah, the me machine. Too, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's such a good story. Yeah. Yeah. I heard they're making a movie out of that. Uh, they should. That's, yeah. I mean, that's how we got famous. Rolling Stone yeah. bought, the, bought his life rights yeah. and put him, put him in an article. It was like America's fucking wildest fucking partier. Yeah. He was, he's from Florida. He's from Tampa, Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where he grew up. And then he went to, was that was Florida State? Probably. That he was at, that was at Miami, or that he was in one of those major colleges. And he was yeah. like the party guy on campus, and Rolling Stone did a fucking thing, and then somebody bought his life rights, and then he started doing stand-up, and well, he's doing all right for himself. Yeah, he's yeah. doing all right for himself now. Yeah, I heard they were making that whole machine, like, uh, bit into a movie, That's like cool. a real movie. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is the machine? Oh, man. Uh, right, so when he was in college, uh, he <clears throat> would, took, a, like, a Russian class, and they just, like, needed one more person to, for the class so that the teacher could fucking t have their class, everybody get paid, they get their credits. So they went actually went to Russia, uh, like, on a school trip, and, like, he ended up, like, getting involved with the Russian mob on a train, and they <laughs> yeah. robbed everybody on the train, and then they got to Russia, and they told the police to fuck off, and, like, told his teacher to fuck you off. You have to watch the story, bro. And really? he partied is, with the Russian happened? mob the whole time he was in Russia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 it's fucking... Yeah, and then yeah. they call him the machine or whatever, yeah. Because he could drink, because he's just a fucking fun, partier, right? like yeah. a fucking just wild boy partier. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't he, like, super mad at the guy, Ari Shafir, because he gave him ecstasy or something? Dude, Ar so Ari came over to film a podcast at Burt's house, Burt for Burt cast or whatever, and he <laughs> turned his back to him, and he's like, yeah, you want a shot? And he fucking put Molly in the fucking, in the alcohol and gave it to Burt, and they fucking didn't tell him and dosed him with Molly, and dude, he had to get on a plane in a few hours to go to, like, do a gig, <laughs> and his fucking family's there and his kids and everything. <laughs> So sick, dude. Ari's not allowed at fucking Bert's house anymore. Fucking yeah, his <laughs> wife doesn't want fucking. But isn't that a thing those guys do to each other all the time for fun? Uh, I don't know about that, but Ari's you know he's fucking off the chain anyway. You know? I think if somebody put Molly in my drink, I wouldn't be that mad. <laughs> yeah, right. You'd be checking the ER fucking immediately. Yeah, yeah right, bro. Bert's on all kinds of like blood pressure medication for his like heart. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he doesn't look fucking... healthy. He looks really unhealthy. Oh, he's a boozer. I mean, he fucking yeah. he's a daily drink. See, he's a, he's like I will always make sure that I can keep myself. As healthy, just as healthy enough, so I can just yeah. continuously drink, so I don't yeah. have to quit drinking. It's this thing. It's crazy how all those guys just became like superstars in like the yeah. last five years. Yeah, Ooh, uh, uh, Tom Segura, fucking mm -hmm. you know, Burt Kreischer, Ari Shafir, all them guys. It was just amazing, man. Like I, I remember watching the rise of like I was watching the podcast when they weren't shit, you know, when they had barely any subscribers, and you know, now, you know, they're making millions of dollars and. Uh, Something's up. Listen, when you see channels that do nothing, 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 and then when you see, when they take off and do growth, the growth is exponential. I mean, I'm sure not you, really. I mean, like, <laughs> not, no, really. not for all channels, but yeah. for a lot of channels, they are. I mean, when it, as soon as it starts taking off, then it's just like a hundred, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. It's just like, what the fuck is going on here? Mm -hmm. Like, I've been watching a lot of videos, like on uh, like on H3, 
like the rise and demise of the H3 podcast. You know who they are? The yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. Um, I forget the guy's name, but I know who you're talking about. The Ethan, guy, he does the eyebrows. Yeah, he's got the fucking tweak, the tweak, the twitch on his, his face. His eyebrows are like that. Yeah, his name's Ethan. Yeah, Ethan and Klein. Right? Ethan Klein. Yeah, yeah. and um, you know, I I, I watched, I, I seen actual seen a graph of their of their progress, and once they hit like um, 100, 150, 200,000 subscribers, the growth. I seen the chart; it was almost exponential. Really, like it, it just went crazy. Yeah, he did great. I mean, he he uh, they had a different channel before they did a podcast. They they did like basically videos just talking about different things. Yeah, like, like it was a completely different style before they had the podcast, and they yeah. were. They were doing like really, really interesting commentary on things, and like yeah. they had a lot of YouTube subscribers way before the podcast. Yeah, they're just like plugged into that whole like. And they started early too. Really early. Yeah, they started really early, and they just started putting out content. You know. Yeah, you stay. You stay very, very tuned into the whole YouTube world, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I stay on top. Keep my thumb on the pulse. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of shit? What kind of shit do you pay attention to the most? Um. <clears throat> As far as like, as far theories. as like the the mm. YouTube uh, the YouTube world, I mean, I just I, I pay attention to who's on top. Uh, I pay attention to you know what the latest trends are. I pay attention because there's always some kind of drama going down with like, you know, because YouTubers they. What's get, your favorite YouTube channel? Ooh, that's a good question. You're um, supposed to say concrete. Inside Drew Craig. No, I mean I watch concrete a lot. Whenever you, go, whenever you guys put out episodes, I watch them a lot. But I think I watch uh, Canadian Prepper. A lot, yeah. He's that. just this guy up in up in Canada who does like a lot of the fucking the doomsday videos. Like he, t- he's always like on top of what's going on like politically, like what's going on in Ukraine. You know what policies we're enacting in the United States, like all the like the shit that's happening. And then he kind of throws in like the dun dun dun. Mm-hmm. You know they're moving fucking. You know so like get prepared, fucking. You know when the right, grid, it, grid goes down situation, oh, he's always talking about that kind of shit. Listen, if you watched what he watches, you'd shoot yourself within about about to take about two weeks. You'd be so depressed. Everything <laughs> is the world's ending. Put put you need to put start putting canned goods away. The co- the collapse is imminent. They're taking away the guns. They're doing this. They're moving troops. They're this. And I'm like, listen. I'm still gonna be able to go to Walmart. Like I'm fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm telling you, man. You got? Did you hear that? I'm like, well, you know the difference Stop. between a conspiracy <clears throat> theory and the truth is, right? Yeah, but he watches it anyway. It's depressing. Like, to is, me, it's the depressing. Dif- it's good fun. The difference between conspiracy theory and the truth is six months. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I mean, gotta, you, you know, got to ask get, Alex Jones. You have and, to um, get, get Chris on the program. Oh yeah, your buddy from from jail. Oh my my celly. Yeah, my that was your celly. Yeah, that was my celly. Really? Yep. Oh yeah, he do. <laughs> I do. He get him going. Awesome. Canadian prepper, Austin. You didn't even fucking pull up this prepper guy. Yeah, Canadian prepper. What are you doing, Austin? Austin's fucking <laughs> sleeping back there. I don't know what he's doing. Sleep. Austin just comes in this motherfucker casual and some flip flops. <laughs> 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 what are we doing? Uh, I want to see this guy. Yeah, Canadian prepper, folks. Hi, folks. Canadian prepper. That's what he. But no, I watch him a lot, dude. I watch a lot of um. Oh, what the fuck do else do I watch on on there? I watch um. This guy. Uh, I watch a lot of tech stuff, so I'm, I'm like, I'm in real big into the tech channels, you know what I mean? Like, uh, M- MKBHD, fucking, okay. um, uh, uh, um, what's his name? <laughs> Click on his videos. <laughs> it's this over. This is bad. It's I mean, you know, he's, listen, he's got, he, he's, he's been on the, he's been on the, he's been on the channel for a long time, dude. He puts out videos every day, Satan, every nuclear other day. Missiles. Ru- uh, and they all do numbers. We're wow. running out of time. Satan. But wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, listen, he, you know. All of it's I like legit. This, this, I like this kind of shit. This shit. I, I love I, it. I love this World kind of stuff. World War Z. I watch this guy a lot, man. I watch him like every day. It's Pretty over. Much. Like, come, this is all depressing. <laughs> it's all. De- read every title there. It's like what this is, is World War Z. I love Z. this guy. Oh, that's probably talking about the Russians invading Ukraine. Yeah, huh? yeah. So he's on top of it, man. Like anything that's going on, World like anytime War Z anything was the happens. Brad Pitt movie the, in it about the zombies. If yeah, they start it, moving troops anywhere, he makes a video about it. Like, really? okay, now they're fucking over here, and this is this this could likely happen because now they got fucking this many guys on the front line, and you know this is if they do this strategy, then they could be this, then it could go nuclear. But then this is this this happens, then the nuclear option is taken off, and he's like, if Finland and fucking what's the name join NATO, and fucking that could cause this problem, and dude, he does. A really good job of explaining everything and breaking it all down, and he's not like um, one of those fucking crazy people that are just like, like everything that he's saying is just like facts. He's like he's just breaking, he's just basically breaking everything down and giving you, you know what I mean, exactly what's happening play by play. And he doesn't do too much interjecture. You know what I mean? Like a lot of it's not opinionated. Like, and I told you guys this was all going to end. He doesn't do those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And he delivers. He delivers all this information in a very straightforward, very well spoken, put together 
way. You know what I mean? Uh, it's other promising, than it's the promising war. to see that he hasn't been banned from YouTube. I like that. I mean, you <laughs> oh, I'm sure account. all of these are got demonetized. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, YouTube's been been releasing a little bit of the pressure off that kind of shit lately. I feel yeah. like I well, haven't had I an mean, episode. They, they just sent knock out. on wood. I haven't had an episode demonetized <clears throat> in like months, and I've been doing some pretty, some pretty edgy. Do you ever fight them? I mean, the oh, I always do. Always do. Must be the last one I got demonetized. What about Elon Musk buying oh, Twitter? I got one demonetized a month ago, and I don't even know why. I should fucking dispute that one. Yeah, I told you to dispute it. I don't ever dispute it. I'm just like, oh, well. You think, <laughs> fuck it. You think Elon could afford YouTube? No, uh, he can barely afford Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're trying to squeeze him out already. They're fucking terrified. Terrified of him taking over Twitter. Why do you think that is? Well, because, you know, they have an agenda, obviously. Yeah. And he, they, he's gonna disrupt that, mm -hmm. which is either gonna uh, either amount to them losing dollar, dollar, dollar money signs, or the, them losing power, or you know, um, control over whatever narrative that they're, you know what I mean, that they're trying to control. Because that's the only thing you do when you suppress people's speech. And this is what blew me away because I'm not a big Twitter guy. I don't, I'm not a big Twitter user. I mean, I, I think you know, telling people uh, every thought that comes into your brain constantly all day is, you know. A, not a good way to communicate and so <clears throat> i didn't know what twitter was i mean i knew what it was so i get on twitter and i start messing around and i'm like no way there's fucking porn right here on twitter and i was like i'm like and in my mind I'm, I'm chewing it over i'm like so they allow this right but they won't allow the president of the united states to just speak his mind that's bullshit i'm like there has to be some kind of agenda that told me right then and there that there's some kind of in internal fucking agenda at mm -hmm. twitter to what to whatever narrative that they feel society you know, and, and, and me, Elon Musk is like, listen, Twitter is the de facto platform for public communication. It's basically the new public square. So controlling that is a serious impediment to democracy, to free speech. So something needs to be done about it. And that's why he got in there and like, listen, something, you know what I mean? Like fucking something needs to change. Do you think Elon really gives a fuck or do you think he just wants clout? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a true believer of Elon Musk. I don't, I don't think the guy has an evil bone in his body. I don't think he does anything out of self-servience. It's not evil to want clout. I mean, maybe he, 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 listen, he likes to be in the camera. He likes to fucking, you know, mm -hmm. the, 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 the pretty girlfriend and the fucking, you know, the cool billionaire. Like, I get yeah. it. But it's like. He's so gonna do it for right? the clout. Like, I don't, the if he if he is doing it for the clout, he's he's also gonna make good changes and positive changes to the platform so mm -hmm. that it betters humanity. Like I'm a true believer in Elon Musk. Like I, I'm a true I believer. I, I I genuinely think that he's a good dude that has the means and the willingness to want to change the world for the better. Period. I mean, we're all I mean, we're human at the end of the day, so of course he's gonna have flaws. But I don't think he's like a Bill Gates fucking kind of character like mm -hmm. you know what i mean like sitting there thinking yeah, you know yeah. how can we fucking uh you know stick people and 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 give them some kind of shot to change them i dude i watched some shit on bill gates uh he was giving a speech to the cia and somebody like recorded it and it was on fucking tiktok and austin uh I, up. if not i think i have it saved i think i had to screen record it because it didn't have the save option on the fucking tiktok and when they do that you know it there's some malarkey going on um I love fucking TikTok, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, I do. You should see my TikTok feed. It's all fucking, every fucking, oh, every I one. I follow you on TikTok. Every one is all fucking. Do you um, post on there? I do just for the just for the podcast every week. So okay. I'm going to get into doing clips and, you know, I'm starting to do the whole TikTok uh, shit. But anyway. I What's was it called? I'm searching you. Oh, Boziat Conundrum podcast. Okay, keep going. And so it's Bill Gates, and he's giving a speech to a bunch of Secret Service guys, or I don't know who they were. It may, may have been Secret Service. It may have been – it was some kind of government um, body. And he was telling them that there was a vaccine that he could give out that suppresses a gene that makes people – that for in people that are more likely to commit suicide bombings and commit, like, acts of, like, religious fucking, like, like terror – and he's like, they, they, they've isolated a gene in the, in the Middle Eastern people over there because they, they have the genome. The Bill Gates is involved in all kinds of crazy shit. But he was saying, like, we understand now the gene that is more expressive in people who are more willing to do suicide bombings and, like, kill, like, mass people for, like, religious reasons. And he's like, we've developed a vaccine that suppresses that gene so that they would be, and it went on and on and on. So he explained more and in more detail about it. I'm just like, holy fucking shit. Are you kidding me? They're over there giving vaccines to people to suppress some kind of gene so that they don't fucking suicide bomb. Like it's insane. Like he's giving speeches to the government on this shit. It's fucking bananas. Mm -hmm. 
And he's somehow bananas. making a bunch of money off. You it. have to find this video. I have to watch this. Listen, I think I honestly, I think I have it saved on my phone. I fucking do. I might. My have favorite it. thing I've seen on TikTok recently is a clip of Johnny Depp listening to a Deposition. And oh, I just wife. seen that. And it's like, and uh, she said that she was bored to death because his friends would come over, and it was just a bunch of old men playing guitar, and they're boring and old. And, they're boring and he's and just old. like and he's sitting there, it's like. <laughs> you can tell he's fucking loving it. He's he's just like I don't know, it's great. I think it's classic, great moment. Because you know it's just him and Marilyn Manson doing coke upstairs, <laughs> <laughs> playing guitar. It was old guys jamming. That's funny. I heard she cut off one of his fingers. Did you guys hear that? No. I heard she cut herself, and then oh. like, oh no, maybe that was him. He how cut the himself. how the fucking the stories change. I heard I heard they're arguing. She chopped off the tip of one of his fingers or some shit. Damn. Like that. Ah, uh, that's crazy. See, this is how it goes with the conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. It sounds great when you say it on a podcast, but then when you go to the fucking... Where's the proof? When you go to fu fucking do the work and find the evidence, it ain't there. No, I save all this shit, man. I got to listen. I, I'll say, if I have to, I'll fucking send you the video. Because I, what I do is when I get too many on my phone, I upload them to my fucking uh, my iPad. Did you know, I mean, Bill Gates is buying up more farmland, I think, right now than anyone else in the world. Yeah, he, well, he's going to be the number one landowner in America behind BlackRock. I'm not sure if you know about BlackRock. Yeah, I know a lot about BlackRock. Yeah, not a lot, fucking, but I know a little bit. They're buying up everything. They're, they're, they, they're, they just bought like a million single-family fucking uh, rental properties across America, and they're yeah. looking to buy it. Well, like, they're, buying, they're buying homes. Everything. They're, they're buying up all, the whole entire market. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to... They, so in the future, I don't know if you don't understand like the economic forum and the New World Order and Davos... How they meet in Davos every year, and the, the dude Schwab fucking runs the economic forum. Yeah, I know they've got the whole bit. plan. <clears throat> the, what it, what it, the explain New what World that Order. Is. Explain. Can you explain for dummies what the New World Order is? So, all right. So the New World Order is a. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's kind of a plan. Um, pretty yeah. much. Put That's an hour long video, Austin. Yeah, I know. I see Gina. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. So the New World Order. Uh, there's so there's a group. We think we should probably start off by by saying there's a group of people. Uh, now this is like you know how there used to be the uh, the Bilderberg Group. Now it's kind of similar to the Bilderberg Group, but it's called the World Economic Forum. It's uh, pretty much just a conglomerate of CEOs, CFOs, fucking world leaders. You know all of these corporations and power, very powerful people. They get together mm. and they set. Um, they had basically just come together once a year and they write out an agenda for what, how they, you know, want to see whatever industry they're in um, pushed forward or moved forward or whatever. So, I mean, obviously you're going to have people from the end that represent energy there. You're going to have people that represent, um, you know, manufacturing. Every sect of society there have, have spokespeople there at this Economic World Forum. Now, it's all run by a dude named Klaus, Klaus Schwab, who uh, I guess he's like an industrialist. Um, Klaus Schwab, yeah. Yeah, he's just, he's a real bad guy, apparently. I don't know, he's a globalist, you know, so I, in my, in my opinion, I mean, I really don't have an opinion on him. He's global. like a, uh, he's kind of like a um, uh, George Soros type guy. Yes, George Soros, <laughs> George Soros type of character, um, you know, so, so the, yeah, like I said, the World Economic Forum, they get together and they basically put forth something called the New World Order, and it's titled the New World Order. Uh, it's not a conspiracy theory. They, that's what they call it themselves. It's from their own. If you go and you can Google it yourself and go on their uh, their website, and it says New World Order, and their vision for the future, uh, it's a one world government, um, di all completely digitized currency, and basically uh, you will own nothing and you will be happy. So basically, you know, physical ownership of like homes and vehicles and like everything will be gone because it'll all be owned by the corporations and. Every, there's going to be like a, a, a you know like a universal basic income, like a UBI, you know what I'm saying? Like because like listen, you got to got to understand that automation is going to take over, you know algorithms and automation is going to you know basically phase out all aspects of manual labor. You know when it comes to like logistics and a lot of other jobs. I mean I've been to listen I walk into CVS and it's all fucking self checkout now, mm -hmm. and there's just one chick walking around doing stock. That, well, that didn't happen five years ago. You yeah. go in, there'd be three or four cash registers, and you'd go, and there, there wouldn't be any self-checkout. Yeah. You know, and now I'm seeing videos of gas stations that are completely with no attendance there. You walk in, and everything's in vending machines on the inside, and you pay with your card at the pump. Yeah. 
So, you know, like us, the automation is going to take over. It's going to phase out, you know, large sects of society who are going to need income. The large corporations are going to come in, the Amazons, the fucking Jeff Bezos and the fucking the, the, the Klaus Schwabs and the Je- George Soroses are going to come in. And there's just a whole new fucking global um, cabal cabal of people that have set up this, this whole new blueprint of how we're going to live our lives in the future. And these guys control everything. So, I mean... That's the new world order. And how does Bill Gates tie into this? Bill, well, Bill Gates is a globalist, and you know he has the Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation, which they control. You know, large swaths of real estate. Uh, they they control. Uh, they have bio labs set up all over the world. I mean, in yeah. fact, the, some of the bio labs that are in the Ukraine right now are funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So you know, and listen, the the rabbit hole goes fucking as deep as you want to fucking climb. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like all of these fucking dirty, slithering cocksuckers are all in bed with each other, and it's all so fucking convoluted and twisted together. It'll make your fucking head spin. Mm. But you, you know what I mean? CIA one. I heard it was a hoax. I heard that uh, Bill Gates was buying up all the land in the U.S. because he wanted to start uh, basically creating like cheap processed food for everyone. Like he wants to basically replace our food. Well, who he who controls the food and the money controls the people, right? In you know factory farming. And well, he's all maybe about. Maybe he's vegan. just a nice guy. <laughs> he's all about. <laughs> that's one well, theory. No, he's that's one about, theory. Yeah. Is it, isn't isn't Bill Gates? Isn't it true that he's like all about pushing like no meat, only vegan? Oh no, I'm not. I I, I hate him. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I thought <laughs> he's he was, not nice anymore. No, I actually thought he was like buying cattle and like was all about like. Controlling the factory farm. I could be wrong. Industry. I could be wrong, but I, I yeah. heard that I heard that he was trying to Listen, like the CIA thing. That's that's a hoax. What is this? Did Bill Gates brief the CIA in 2005 about a mind altering yeah. vaccine? It was a 2020 hoax that said in 2005 he had briefed them, but it was actually a hoax. That's scroll the video. down. Scroll down. This is disinformation. The- <laughs> Hoax. Fake, fake news. <laughs> hoax. Bill Gates is right there, and it's his voice, and they're talking. What is that? He was he? They were just playing around. They were just, you know. They well, just, put, they just photoshopped the word hoax on let's top of see. it. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see any video. I don't think there is a what the fuck is this website? Snopes? That's the screenshot, though. That's the video. I, I swear to God, I have that video. So I have it either on my iPad or. Austin, you, you got to do some well, more digging to chop find the video. up somebody. Bill Gates has enough, um, enough um, right interviews. Right. You could chop up what he's saying. But I mean, Bill Gates, I mean. And he talks how, about vaccines all the time. I don't know how old the guy is, but you know that he's definitely... I know... I heard somewhere, I don't know for a fact, but I think this was proven, that he invested, like, somewhere in the realm of, like, $20 million into uh, BioNTech two months before... Before... I think it was in he's, he's September. Been, in September of twenty. 20- 19 or 2018 before the lab leak actually happened so before there was some there's some scientists in the lab in wuhan they got sick for, they were the first people to get sick and get get the coronavirus so like two months before that he invested like some somewhere in the realm of like 20 million dollars in BioNTech, the company that created one of the vaccines Okay, but but keep in mind, this is a guy who's in, investing in stuff all the time. He gave a, he gave That's a true. he gave a TED talk that said the next pandemic isn't a if it's a when. Yeah, and this was like three or four that. years before, so he was he's been all in on the vaccine For, and the pandemic. Like he, you the, know what I mean? The like, last ten or fifteen yeah. years, he's been talking. You, about here's it. the actual video. Look at some of the work he's been doing over in Africa. Here's the Bill Gates video that you were talking about earlier. Look at those statistics. Is this it? Yes. It shows it highlights part of the brain. Yes. Click on that. This off. is it. On the left over here, we have. Individuals who are religious fun, fundamentalist, religious fanatics. Oh and wow! This is the expression uh, RT PCR, real time PCR. That could that quick. Uh, expression of the BMAT2 gene. So our our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the BMAT2 gene, and that by vaccinating them against this, <laughs> we'll eliminate this behavior. <laughs> Uh, trying to tell you guys, some, some that, very, very this is a hoax. It, 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 that doesn't mean he said Hold he's on. got a vaccine that's going to fix it. Here we have two uh, brain scans. These are fMRIs. Uh, these are two different I don't even think that's Bill, Bill Gates. Stop it. That's Bill uh, Gates, dude. No top, way. Uh, is an individual who's a religious fanatic, an individual, and we've repeated this numerous times, that, that uh, has a high level for VMAT2 to do... What the fuck is he I saying? I don't think that looks like Bill Gates. This guy. That's 100% Stop Bill it, Gates. Dude. No way. 100%? Yeah. 100. That's a, that's 100%. 1,000%. 1,000%. Listen to his I, voice. I, I, you couldn't pick him out of a lineup. That's and Bill Gates, that would, man. Would have the effect that Period. You see here, which is, it's just he talks with his hands a lot. It's the same gestures. It's the same voice. 
He's got the glasses. He's not saying he, he's also oh, I can't hear this. I can't hear this. <laughs> can, can we watch it on your own time? I mean, it's nine. It's like, what is it, 10 more minutes? Respiratory viruses, such as flu or rhinoviruses. And, All right, uh, Austin, you can stop yep. it. Re yep. re read the fucking description of this video. What is the description of this video? Try to tell you, click man. Click on the, no, go up, go up, and then click, go down. Click on the title. Click on that, yeah. All right, now pause it. Pentagon video leaked briefing on yep. FunVac. So wait, is it Bill Gates? You said 100%. Yeah, you were 100%. 100. Well, I thought that's a done. He said done deal. It doesn't say Bill Gates' name anywhere on here. It said the video was edited. You can notice in some parts, pixels. I don't know, man. No, but it, you were sure a second ago. 100. We're both 100. percent anyway, Now, because it's actually a hoax, but that's fine. You guys were positive. Listen, I'd have had all your money. Listen. I'll tell you right now, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm a different person now. Listen, what the fuck was he even talking about, first of all? It's not even clear he, what the he fuck never, he was really saying. He was talking the about a vaccine. Gene. He was talking about the VMAT gene in the fucking, you know, that no. they can vaccine to suppress. What do you mean? No. They no. fucking, they can suppress that gene to fucking make them not blow them shit up. Yeah. So that's what the whole fucking first of all thing is about. You can't just give somebody a gene to say, hey, there, I'm going to give it's you It's not a gene. gene it's a vaccine oh. that suppresses a certain gene in the fucking body. Right. It's they a, can do those things now, Matt. <laughs> you know they have that kind of technology now. Then why aren't they hitting the transgenders with it? Whoa. Okay. Whoa, so, whoa. I mean, if you can do that, why aren't they Why aren't they saying, hey, you're, you're criminal thinking? Boom. They give you, give you a, 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 a you vaccine. Know why? And guess what? Now you're not because a criminal Because the Supreme anymore. Court hasn't fucking said we could yet. Because you're, and, and, and we haven't gotten They're not going to do this either. And it's a hoax anyway. It's a hoax. Well, it's a Fuck. it's a fun hoax if it is. Oh Matt, my Matt God! Defy. Find the YouTube comments. We need to see the top YouTube comment on this. Video. Or could we read the article that says it's a hoax? What's the top comment say? That's 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 oh all you need my to know. God. We're going to YouTube. It's not real, but I now. think the concept was supposedly that it would suppress that gene. Whether you interrupt, whether you interpret that as killing the person, so they can that's spread their seed, is not the matter. Wow. But that wasn't the take idea. As far as I can't understand it, I mean, it wasn't that fucking clear what they were what he was fucking talking about. But I don't even think it was Bill Gates. It sounded a lot like Bill Gates. It sounded a lot like. Bill I Gates. still think it's fucking true. I'm just sticking to my fucking original. I think most scientists sound. I, like be Bill I Gates. believe it. I believe it. There's something. There's something awkward about. Yeah, Bill they're Gates. awkward. They're nerdy. They got that kind of. They're kind of have that Asperger thing going on well, a listen, little bit. Listen, when you're that intelligent, uh, you, you know, you're not hanging it's hard out. to relate to the average out, person. Yeah, you're, you're not farts and picking boogers with the rest of the fucking <laughs> you're teenage not, kids. You're, you're, you're not, not charismatic. Yeah. You're in a yeah, book. Yeah. I, I understand you could have Yeah, said you're that. in a book. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. he also invested, okay, yeah, he invested $50 million into Impossible Foods and actively finances Beyond Meat. Um, well, I mean, he probably sees... What does that say? Ginkgo, Bioworks, yeah. and Biomig, as described above. Fake food ever... Yeah, Fake I mean, food you know. Clates claims it is a real solution to climate change and solves environmental degradation while also ironing out animal welfare concerns. Mm -hmm. You know, it's I all think about climate change. That's why. So he's buying more fucking farmland than anyone else in the in the country right now. He's yeah. buying up so much farmland. I got into a heated discussion with Matt because Matt thinks climate change is a hoax. Matt doesn't believe <laughs> Matt doesn't believe in in man and climate change. He doesn't believe in global warming. I, no, no, I don't. It's not that I don't believe it. There is global. The 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 Earth has throughout history has gotten cold and gotten hot. It's got cold. It's got hot. And I don't think that we have that much to do with it. I don't think we have. I mean, it depends what you consider that much. I think there definitely is. Man. I, I mean, is there some? Yes, there's some human beings since definitely the contribute since to the it. since the dawn of the industrial revolution, we've been literally digging digging fucking carbon up from the from the ground and putting it into the atmosphere mm -hmm. in giant fucking quantities. And if you don't think that has anything to do with I, the fucking, I think you just the, told the, me the, that Bill the, Gates, Bill Gates is is gonna vaccinate everybody to make them non terrorist too. So I, you, some of what you're saying, suspect. Listen, okay, I'm just saying science. Not, that's science. <laughs> okay, that, that's listen, science too. Listen. And I don't give a fuck what they're talking about. <laughs> that's, listen, bro. That's the fucking. <laughs> Bill Gates, the, he is the, doing the shit like that. The problem is, the problem is, it's there's way too much Im information out there for any single yeah. person to comprehensively understand at once. So it's just easier to pick one side and then argue whatever points that you hear and somebody else talk about. Plus, we live in echo chambers, um, yeah. you know, and, and everything that we look at online is tailored to only give us the information that we're looking for. 
which kind of creates like these, like I said, these echo chambers. Yeah. Like, so if I only if you I need only need to reset your YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> because every time I turn around, you're listening to something that's talking about the end of the world or the economy's so fun, crushing though, and this it's and so you're fun. You're what? Are you listening to this? Are you listening to this? And I'm like, bro, please turn that off. <laughs> I know. Please. I get all fucking tuned up like, because you reset. Did you, dude, dude, they're taking over, bro. They're. I, I pro, can, I'm painting. Can we? <laughs> Please, can we just watch I got a lean movie? cuisine. Yeah, I have to heat up a lean cuisine. And <laughs> yeah, we went to I tried to go to a Starbucks the other day. And when we got in there, I ordered food. And then he just sat there and looked at all the food and went, I, I can't. I can't eat this. I can't do this. No, I, I, I can't. I can't. Dude, because that, fuck that garbage that's in see? fucking Starbucks. It's, that it's, shit is it's, garbage. It's, it's, it's finger food that's been sitting in a refrigerator for four months that came from a fucking factory. Yeah. Listen, I, I got I had, apples, to, I had to walk I got over apples and some peanut butter. I mean, I, I had to apples, I had to walk over to some fucking boiled eggs. Um, um, not bad. It was okay. okay. That's nice. What's yeah. the sub? What's the sub place I walked over to? I, the sa- the sub place where you think what they went out and they they killed the cows right there just before you got there. You don't think it was processed food that they cut up and stuck in there it had been there for months i'm a meat and cheese kind of dude you know what i mean i, <laughs> I promise you your stuff had been sitting in a refrigerator for six months someplace just because it was warmed up and they you saw them cut it up in front of you you gotta go shane <sighs> no oh, okay why you're looking at your watch like you're gonna be somewhere i got a text message oh you got the fucking eye watch uh-huh. excuse me mm-hmm. sorry for asking big shot He's not in the club. You guys got three watches on him. <laughs> and none of them tell time. I got the fucking ten dollar Casio. I, I have use me, but I have got the five hundred dollar Joe Rogan band. I have a, I have a, free, I have a, free, I, have a free, I have a watch that came to me for free, and it does, it's the only thing it does is tell time. Oh yeah, what kind of watch is that again? It's a Stanage. Uh, oh, yeah, the guy Stanage. from yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy I from uh, yeah 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 you super cool him in before yeah he's super cool. Hey, I talk to him all the time. Mm. Have you ever had one of those Beyond Impossible things though? Those are impossible meat burgers. I have, yeah. What do you think about them? You know they have them at Dunkin' Donuts. They're not that bad. Uh, I I was, I would get the one from Carl's Jr. a lot. Really? Yeah. I've never been to Carl's Jr. Yeah, I was out in California. Carl's Jr. was like yeah, it's big time out there. Yeah, it was right. It was right by like where I was like the, in the neighborhood I used to like. So, and they're honestly, it's like tastes like the prison food. It tastes like the fucking patties they give you in prison because it's it soy. Yeah, it's just that's soy. what the fuck it is. And soy is really bad for you, isn't it, dude? It's not. I mean, I don't know. But that's what's in prison. I heard because we had a friend of ours, uh, yeah. Jake, that was in prison for a long time. He said he got man tits from all the soy he ate. All in the prison. estrogen that's in the fucking yeah. soy. Mm. Yeah, there's estrogen in that shit. Mm. And um, I do. I went vegan for a little while out in California, mm-hmm. uh, and I lost like fucking. I lost like 14 pounds in 19 days, and I'm already skinny. So and it was fucking nuts. Um, Did he give you man tits? I know I didn't. You know what's the thing is I don't. I can't eat tofu. Like I can't eat the fucking. I hate tofu. No, I can't eat the tofu and I can't eat the fucking um, the soy. You know what I mean? So mm. I lost a lot of weight. And but yeah, I tell you what, I never felt better in my entire life. Like the amount of when energy, you were vegan. When I was vegan, really? Yeah, yeah, I just I always had like my energy. Like now it's like a roller coaster. Mm. I, cause because of my eating, Slow. like I'll eat and like low energy. Yeah. But like well, he doesn't drink coffee. Like I, everything I I it consume. I was also is, doing coke every day. It's it's all coffee. No, I never and did cocaine. Or sugar anything. and everything, and all he eats is like carbs and just. You ever met a vegan who does a shitload of coke? No, <laughs> I don't think I know any vegans. Oh man, yeah. So needless somebody, to say, right? I have to know somebody who's a. Vegan. I had got off the I'm vegan sure shit because it was just like I was losing too much weight, man. I didn't like really. The, yeah, I didn't like the way I looked, but I felt great. I felt fucking. Were you phenomenal. working out? Um, yeah, I mean, I was running every day. I was doing oh, yeah. a lot of cardio and uh, a little bit of a little bit of weights here and there. But I have more energy when I don't eat. Sometimes yeah. I do like a five day. I do these five day fasts like once a year, and when I get on like day four, you I don't get, eat for mm-hmm. five days. Yeah, stop it. When I get to day four or five, I have like You'll fall insane over. amounts of energy. You'll no, fall over. no, I can do three times the amount of pull ups that I can normally do when I'm. At you don't. You weigh five ten pounds a lot lighter. This guy. This how guy, much? How much weight do you lose in those five days? It's got to be a I lot. Don't, I, don't, I didn't really. I didn't. What's I, your body type? Is it, you probably got endomorph. I don't know what the fuck. So there's three different body types. There's ectomorph, esomorph, and endomorph. What's the uh, difference? Endomorph is at the high uh, at the high end, so it's like you gain weight really easy, but it's hard to lose it. Ectomorph is where I'm at. Like I can't. It's hard for me to gain weight, but it's real easy for me to lose it. And then in the middle, you've kind of got like the endomorph people who can fucking gain and they can swing their weight wildly just based on their diet with a little with with little effort. I've weighed a hundred and sixty five pounds for like the last ten years. I vary, and maybe you can a, pretty much. Eat. I vary maybe a pound and a half to two pounds. And what's your diet? I mean, do you like restrict yourself to like I'm not going to eat carbs, or do you just eat whatever you want? Keto. Much? I 
<laughs> I try, I try, he is. I try, Are you do keto? It's not a joke. Oh my god! I've tried it. I, I don't know. I don't He's do it the anymore. Keto, keto Guido. I eat whatever I want now. I, I tried doing yeah. keto for a couple months. I just I couldn't do it. That's but, rough. Um, yeah. It is rough. It sucks. The keto. I, I've never done it, but I don't, my roommates were on it, and I'm telling you what, I used to fuck with them every night. After Pizza I learned pasta, about oh, keto, yeah. I stopped eating pasta. So I yeah. used to eat fucking pasta at least one night yeah. a week. But after that, after I learned about it, I, I just cut out like I never. I rarely eat a plate of spaghetti or really? like pasta or whatever. But I eat. I eat pretty much anything else, mm. but um, on usually on the weekdays I I won't eat until like eleven or twelve. I just want to eat breakfast noon, yeah. But then after that I fucking eat. I gorge from like five o'clock p.m. until like nine or ten. I'll yeah. eat anything, yeah. everything. Yeah, my kids leftovers. He's like a leftover ham sandwich and some cereal on the ground. <laughs> I just get eat that. everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I literally eat all of his leftovers. Yeah, I'm a garbage disposal too, man. Like I fucking like sixty percent of my diet's carbs. Uh, I just eat fucking pastas. I eat the fucking bread. Really? I eat, oh yeah, I'll have mm. a big bowl of soup in a bread bowl with a baguette on the side and fucking. Mm. You know, I fucking smash. I, like I said, I eat whatever I want, whenever I want. Everybody's I different. Some shit works yeah. better for some people. Some shit. Yeah, I don't. Doesn't. I don't limit myself to portion size or anything like that. Yeah. I, I eat my. I usually eat until I'm fucking until my belly hurts. You know what I mean? So I'm fucking feeling a little bit sick. To be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't like. And it doesn't that. really affect me, man. It doesn't. You know, like I stay 140, 145. That's it. Like I can't. You know, I'll hit 150, 155 if I start working out and I'm doing the fucking weight gainer and the fucking creatine mm. and all that shit. But even that only puts about 10 pounds on. Does creatine make you add uh, gain weight? It puts water. Yeah, it's water weight. I mean, it makes you more rounder. It puts water in, in your muscles and shit, yeah. so it helps the recovery time and fucking help. You look more rounder and fuller, <laughs> you know, so it helps the everything else you're doing. But, you know, when I'm doing all that shit, then I put like 10, 12 pounds on me. But even really? then... Yeah, yeah, man, it's crazy. If you ever try fasting, uh, you have a, a lot of power and energy after you've done it for a, a few days. Man, you get you get. I don't if, know if I, I skip one meal, dude, I'm fucking. I don't know if I yeah, feel like I'm gonna fall out. That's because you're addicted to food. We're addicted yeah, to yeah. food. Like the one thing that we are addicted Sugar. to more than anything is food. Fuck yeah! Like you don't. You really don't need food to survive. There's a guy who fasted for like a year without. He eating didn't any eat food. any food. Didn't eat any food for a year. If you can find him, Austin. Was that the dude? Who, he just got all his energy from the sun. He said he fucking laid out in the sun. And he got the, all that fucking the vitamin uh, D. I don't know. I think that. I read about this guy too. I'm like, yeah, he's full of shit. No, he's not full of shit. Dude, it's three days, deal. three days without food, or three weeks without food, you're done. It's you know the, okay, the yeah, three rule. Look, this guy did one year and seventeen days. Yeah, look at him. So you can get all the nutrients you need. And he was fucking probably 300 pounds, and he just lived off yeah. of all oh, that yeah. fucking Before and fat. after. It just melted off. Yeah, he lived off of all that for the for however many days it was. Right, right. I couldn't do that. I'd be dead in a week. So, yeah, so that's the difference. So when you start fasting, your body goes into this this ketosis. That's where the whole keto thing and comes It just from. starts eating itself. So now the energy. Metabolizing its own fucking you're burning, your fat. You're, you're burning fat instead of carbohydrates. So it just the the fat melts off. That's why people who are fat when they do keto they, they lose weight really quick. Wow! And you get you get better energy, like more of a clean burning energy when you're burning. And fat. so keto's what? No carbs, zero it's, carbs. It's, no, pretty no, much. no, no, no. There's carbs, but it's like there's like a there's like a a percentage of your diet. So only like nine percent of your diet can be carbs. Um, I think thirty percent protein and like fifty percent fat or sixty percent mm. fat or something like that. But but my point was like like one of the guys I have in here, this doctor who studies, um, he just studies metabolic health and brain health. His mm. name's Dom D'Agostino. He comes in here, he's fucking jacked, dude, massive fucking dude. And he's a doctor at USF and he's a research scientist and he studies how he does like re research on mice. Mm. Um, and he started doing it by testing, doing tests on Navy SEALs, Navy SEALs who were getting oxygen toxicity, oxygen toxicity seizures mm. from the rebreathers, from like like trying to like you know, go underwater, undercover without the bubbles. Mm. And they were getting these, these, these seizures and he was doing tests on them with diet, like seeing how they could avoid these seizures with different types of diets. And he found out that about restricting carbs and putting them in ketosis, mm. they were getting rid of that. And then that kind of like transitioned into therapy for people who had epilepsy. So people who, he started testing it on epileptic people and then taking them off all their meds, making them 100% keto. And they were literally being cured of epilepsy. No, they were going from like having multiple seizures a day to no seizures for months. Mm -hmm. It's fucking crazy shit. And then anyways, so he was telling me after like seven days of fasting, he could deadlift something like 500 pounds, like for 20 reps. No shit. Like more than he normally does, which is insane. But 
Yeah, the ketosis shit's crazy. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could do it. I just. I enjoy the fucking. Yeah, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it I, so it much. Sucks. I hate. I hate. <laughs> I Matt, it. Matt's so burnt right now. <laughs> oh man, yeah, he doesn't do the. He doesn't do carbs at Matt all. Matt just drinks pure sugar from Starbucks. I. I, I he he survives on diet Sprite and fucking <laughs> spoonfuls of peanut butter. <laughs> hey, I love a spoonful of peanut butter. I eat a, at least one spoonful of peanut butter a day, maybe every other day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's I'm not here. kidding. Uh, he, he's not having it. He's debunking conspiracies. I mean, he's debunking on, diets. Is, he's doing is, it all. Listen, I was. I'm. I'm still. Con- I'm still convinced that was real. Oh my god. Oh, I forget. I always forget about the fucking Illuminati tattoo on the top <sighs> of your head. Show me that yeah, again. Yeah. That thing's fucking sick. Do y'all see? Hey, what is that conspiracy theory? Speaking of uh, Illuminati, what's the conspiracy? Theory? I just learned about it yesterday, but I forget what it's called. It's like a god of reflections. What? There's like a name for it. Fuck. What? What's the premise? I don't even know, but it's like it's supposed to be like. <laughs> well, I know exactly no what that's it. What that is then? <laughs> no, the god of reflection. Type in conspiracy. That's, that's Matt. Narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like a whole there's like a whole like crazy icon on it. He somehow it somehow ties into uh, Freemasonry. I don't know. No, I, I'm. I'm Fuck, I, what is it? Oh my god! I didn't get the newsletter it. on that one. What is the moon hoax? We definitely didn't go to the moon. Oh my god! We definitely didn't go to the moon. Matt, did we go to the moon? We went to the definitely moon. not. Stop Multiple. It. We times. didn't go to the fucking moon, man. <laughs> you know that uh, we sent three assholes up there in a tin can. How the fuck did they get through the fucking the uh, the radiation belts? Oh that cut the my. Van Nuys and radiation belts. God, stop. there was nothing to protect them from the stop, radiation. Stop! Stop! You're not a scientist. And then. How do they 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 tell it they they in real time broadcast fucking their uh, uh, the the their signal and their video to every person in America on live TV in the sixties? It was, yeah, it, from it, the it, moon. It, oh my god, are you telling me that there's thousands of scientists that know how they're done, but there's always one quack on YouTube that says some bullshit and. Suddenly, all these plenty, people are like, oh, I knew it. Plenty of scientists. The flag. There's no wind. The flag is moving. And the, oh, how did they do? Uh, stop, where's the stars? Stop. stop. Where, oh. stop. I've, I've watched this stop. documentary. Come on. Yeah. I've watched all pictures? of Focus yeah. your time on something else. I've watched them. <laughs> That's on a great what, one. Matt? What should we spend our time on? I, mean, I don't know. We're no, I ain't going to lie. I'm not, con- I'm not convinced. It was political. After I watched it was few political. Do- uh, documentaries, I'm like, eh. It, it makes for, some good points. What was it, it was, all, what was it about? They were trying to beat the Russians. We were in, it was the Cold War. Space but we war. didn't. We, we were trying to beat the Russians to the moon, and that you know we wanted we, it because America has to be first and everything, and that's no, what it was at we that weren't. time. We, we were weren't. just coming out of fucking World War II. It was fucking late. It was late late sixties, mm-hmm. and there was this whole like, everything's American, everything's made here in America, America number one. I mean, which we're living in the fucking zombie remnants of that now, which it's all we're all whored and prostituted out to the fucking corporations. Oh my that's God. a different fucking story. But at that time, that was the climate. What did you give? So we had to beat fucking. <laughs> I told you I ate all the goddamn medals before we got down oh here. Oh my god! We fucking. I'm, <laughs> it was the, it was the space race, man. We Come had on. to be first. It was political. But we weren't first. We weren't. We didn't have the first satellite. We didn't put the first uh, uh, yeah, man in yeah into space. Yeah, they, the we Russians they were had first. The, they yeah. had the Think first. about this though. We we, we're we happened to land was, on the moon it was first. Sput- Sputnik one. Ten. We're sending fucking regular citizens. We're sending Jeff Bezos. And uh, Richard Branson are getting are, are flying into space for twenty fun. years from now. He'll be telling you that never happened. But we haven't gone to the moon since we've gone to the moon That's the right. first time, right? Didn't we only go once? They said we lost the technology. No, we didn't. We didn't. We they didn't said go. we. They said Why that we haven't. We been who back said that? Time? NASA. Who said that? NASA. Chris. NASA, NASA said that NASA themselves said that we no longer have the technology to get to the moon. It was lost. All of those programs, the Apollo program. I'm telling you right now. Pull it up. Give it a goog. Pull it up. Gosh dang, Google Google me. Listen, tell me where you have someone, an employee, current employee of NASA that said we couldn't go to the moon right now. We don't have the technology. I think private yeah, I that think that awesome. private industry could get because, us to the moon. Listen, back the right rockets now. that we used to take that we I mean if they put it together and made a plan, but we don't currently have one. Like there's well, no, no game you plan. You have to have a plan. There's no game plan. Like 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 the technology like, that took us to the moon, the lunar module and the fucking. Well, no, they can't go jump the in a ship and fly and the, there right now. No, the they're gonna have rockets. to put something together. Right. Austin, Austin, click the one that said, why did we lose the ability to go to the moon? That's like me saying that I, I, I can't currently, I, you know, I can't currently True. fly. No, you're right. Oh, I wait, don't wait. have a jet in, in the parking lot. What's I'm going to have to go get Hold somebody. Hold on. Read this. Matt, will you read this in your nice voice? No. <laughs> 
Come on, go ahead, read it. You, no, I'm not going to read Matt's it. Matt's going to have to get it. it to read it to us. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we lose the ability to go to the moon? This answer is true. There were two accidents, a fire on the launch pad of Apollo 1 that took the lives of three astronauts and an exploding oxygen tank on Apollo 13 that crippled the mission. But those astronauts were able to return safely to Earth thanks to even more team. That's not why we it's lost. That's not really yeah. an answer yeah. to this That's question. That's not an answer. It has nothing to do with it. Right. But why haven't we gone? Why don't you think we've gone to the moon since then? What What year did we go to the moon? 50 years ago? 69. Why, they, why they the fuck? Why they landed, but they landed in '69. But they've been so okay. So you got to you got to think about NASA that. as like you. Gotta, so you have to think about NASA as like a, a, just another branch of the government because that's essentially what they are. So when it comes down, so they have all these programs put in the place that are that have upkeep. They, you know what I mean, like the rockets and you know all of the programs and that that all the systems that are used for launch and all of the, the supporting systems and all that shit. These are all programs that they have in NASA. And once one of those to- programs are retired. And they don't have a, a replacement program for that fucking that that whatever that that goal, then they just no longer have the technology. Because the okay, the rockets that we used to get to the moon in '69 were like Apollo rockets. They don't fucking use those rockets anymore. That technology, they don't even have it. What was the technology? The, the, even the, the just the boot, the rocket boosters themselves. They don't have the equipment. They, even like to upkeep the like the fucking it's not the technology. To, you still know the technology. Elon, doesn't Elon buy yeah, his worth, rockets from Russia? But it's, he, he's, it's a completely different system. Like he, they're using. Mm. He's got his own engineers and shit working on like the rocket boosters and the the the, the way the fuel deliveries and everything Look at like the that. Thing. They can't just go dig an Apollo rocket up and wheel it to the fucking launching pad and put it in the air. Like the systems used to even launch those rockets don't even exist anymore because you know NASA's always putting new things into play and you've got the the advent of everything was analog back then. In 69, nothing was digital. Everything was done analog okay. through fucking so switches and relays. We don't use switches and relays anymore. Everything's fucking digital through Wi-Fi. If, if so you got to think about it. So now, if they haven't sat down and be like, okay, we need a plan to go to the moon, then they just don't have a fucking plan to get there. It's not like so, hopping into your Ferrari or your, so your car and driving to public. Do you think that if they sat down over the weekend, <laughs> they could come up with a plan? I yes. mean, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Or, okay. And absolutely. then it'd take them six months to a year to put the build, maybe two years to build the rockets, yeah. to put it together. But could we go to the moon in two years from na- right now if the United States government wanted to? Yes. Absolutely. I'm going to say yes. Absolutely. Or. So I feel. We have been going That was to a 180. Or a lot have. of people say 160. 160 is not true. That's a 180. That's a complete turnaround. 360. On what we, Matt. 360, sorry, 360. A lot of people say 360, but that's not true. It's a 180, so now you're saying we can go. You're just saying that right now they don't have the equipment or a plan to go. Right. No, of course not. You don't keep that around because we don't need to go every every six months. But they could go. They wanted to go. The m- also, there's really no point of putting human beings on the moon when they can just send these drones up there to fucking right. rover. Well, for they've around. checked it out. There's, there's, listen, it's dead. It's well, a rock. Well, see, their plan was. <laughs> Is it? See, the Is moon it? base. See, or what if, what? If. What if it's oh. hollow? Hold on. And that's go there. where all the Nazis went. It's a Dyson sphere. And they're living. It's a Dyson sphere. Exactly. It's they're living sphere. inside yeah. of a Dyson sphere, which is the moon. We just went and seen What's a movie. I just went and seen a movie moon. at the theater where that Doesn't was the matter. They're living inside. That the moon was actually a fucking alien inside. spaceship. And it was fucking. It's been there since like the beginning of time. Like this is just a recent movie that was just out actually. Moonfall. Moonfall. Yeah, it was called Moonfall. Because they there was some like a, like amateur astronomers that figured out the moon and kept getting closer and but closer wait, wait, to wait, the wait, Earth. Wait. What what is the official narrative on how the moon got there? Isn't it? Yes. Did, didn't we get hit by a giant? This Earth. The there's Earth two guy. theories. Okay. So the there's, there's there's there. What is like the accepted theory? I think I the, know the mainstream both theories, so I'm ar- the, the mainstream archaeological uh, archaeological theory is that they. What's the non conspiracy theory that Matt Cox would? Accept? Well, there's no neither one no, of these are conspiracies. Both this, is, this is both this is both mainstream so, okay. main, mainstream science. Okay. Uh, one was when the Earth was in its early you know forming stages. Uh, I believe it was either a comet or an asteroid came and knocked off either split it in half or knocked off a very large chunk of it. And because of the way the the rotation of the yeah, Earth they were happens, spinning it. they were spinning. They both created two bodies: right. one being a satellite of the Earth, and one being Earth itself. And that's one theory. The second theory is that the Moon is just a collection of debris left over from when the Earth was forming, not formed by like a giant cataclysm with something actually hitting the Earth. And there's actually evidence for both because a lot of the the dust and shit that they find on the Moon is created from, you know. Space dust and like other rocks that that in other elements that aren't found here on Earth. I heard of the theory that the theory that there was like another Earth, like an Earth two that collided with this Earth and then created 
Well, that's part I, of his theory is basically they're yeah. saying that the formation was that when all of these different you know bodies were slamming in each other, that there were two bodies that slammed, yeah. and as they slung around, one became you know as they're rotating, yeah. one became the Earth, and one was the Moon. It was just kept in its gravitational yeah. field, and it kept kept rotating. That was yeah. it. And then the Moon became a satellite. And they say that without the Moon, life on Earth wouldn't be possible. Right. We, we wouldn't the like, gravitation. Oh, the, it creates well, maybe vastly have, different. Yeah, it, 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 well, it, you know, it, the 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 moon w is tidal locked, so the gr the rotation of the moon, ha the rotation of the Earth is it intrinsically synced with the uh, you know the rotation of the moon, and then uh, it was tidal locked, so it controls the tides. Right, on tidal Earth. lock. <laughs> 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 it controls the tides. Good yeah, pun. That's a good one. <laughs> Um, yeah, so like I said, the moon, you know, we wouldn't be here if, if, if it weren't for the moon. I actually just watched a documentary. That I mean, we, we, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jupiter. Yes. Jupiter it sucks shields in all us. asteroids. Shields us from a lot of... It, it's yeah, got yeah. insane gravity. Yeah. But what's like 300 times the size of yeah. the Earth or whatever? Right. It's a giant gas. It's a gas mm -hmm. giant. Yeah, and I just watched a documentary the other day. They were talking about... Uh, it was actually... It was, well, I don't know if it was a documentary. It's one of these videos I watch on YouTube. I fell down <laughs> rabbit holes. It was about... It was saying how... It was, there's like the rare life theory... Mm -hmm. Where they're saying that life is either one of two things: it's either extremely abundant, abundant in the in the solar system and in the galaxy, or it's extremely rare. And that you know, what we have here on this Earth is just like an uh, extremely fucking random anomaly. And not only that, the progression of like the human of uh, us being able to you know think introspectively about our existence, you know about you know existentialism in itself, it's saying that it's it's even more rare than that. Hmm. And there's evidence for both. You know, I had Randall, uh, Randall, you know who Randall Carlson is? I do, yeah. I talked to him about, and he, he was telling me about one of the theories that he thinks, I mean, I don't know if he, he was just yeah, explaining one of the popular theories. What? He said not to talk about that. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that he didn't say not to talk about it. He, he didn't say that he believed this, but he was talking about a theory that was explained to him that the moon was man-made. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know the details of it. I'm sure you can find a YouTube video on it. Right. <clears throat> but um, he's a Freemason. And What's it made out of? The Freemason know a cheese. lot. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, what, I know. Cheese? what could he be made out of? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> mozzarella. I, I mean, say. the aliens could have put it here to, to because they knew that if they put that giant, you know, whatever here, that. Hey, whatever base, happened. That's yeah. their base. There was an article that came out a couple months ago that there the Chinese. Chinese uh, version of NASA found like a black structure on the moon, and they were on the going, dark side of the moon in one of the craters. Yeah, they yeah. they found like a box looking structure, and they were sending out they were sending out a rover to go find it. And they said it was gonna take a month to get there. Can you yeah. find that? Did you uh, what? Did you did I show you this that Chris sent me about this zooming in on the moon? This guy, they they zoom in, zoom in. Oh, this, this, is gonna be, this is gonna be like a gag. No, it's gonna be the guy. No, no, the, this the, is the this is Chris. Like dong. Chris, <laughs> Chris believes this. Like, see the little thing right there. Mm -hmm. Watch the dick pop up. That's not a dick. What, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, but these TikToks are so. Are, I know it, it, it looks so real. And yeah. basically, what I told Chris was, I said, "So it's somebody who's skydiving on the moon. What's the big deal, Chris?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, it's aliens skydiving on the moon. Is that what you're saying?" I said, "Yeah, it's fucking aliens. What's the problem? What, what's your yeah. issue with with aliens and Chinese <laughs> rover spots?" <laughs> a weird yeah, yeah, this is it. When was this published? December seventh. Yeah, this, so this is when it was published. Ago. It was a couple months ago, December mm -hmm. or three, four months ago. And there's a picture of yeah. That see that thing? That was like everyone the same thing in Matt's video. I was gonna say, mm. but. Man, that's fuzzy. But they said they said it's always just out of frame and fuzzy. They were gonna send something over there to go check it out, and then there was they're no, joggers. I, I never saw anything <laughs> after that. That's awesome. Listen, we're bound to find something. I mean, I, could you imagine if 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 different about? countries populated yeah. the moon? Like the, you did, didn't like six oh, months yeah, ago. They say that look, there are, there are there are UFOs. Uh -huh. Like they came out, like the, like they came out and said, "Look, they're UFOs. These things are flying around our jets. But we see them. They went in the ocean. We listen, don't know what wait, they are. They're UFOs." About that, Nobody though. said shit. There's a theory that that they're just saying that because that's their their shit, and they don't want everybody to know that they have that the government or whoever like these they have the technology. So they're like, yeah, it's UFOs. You guys okay, are right. E e even <laughs> even if they, you guys did, are absolutely right. right. We even, don't know what we don't know what the, we don't know what these things are. Okay, so even if they said that, <laughs> they outmaneuver our fucking part plane. <laughs> right. Even if they did. They did just say they're UFOs. Yes. So you're saying that the government just said, hey, 
They're UFOs. Yeah. They're moving very fast. We don't know what they are. Yes. This is how fast they're going. They just admitted it. There wasn't massive panic. They, people the government admitted something? Yeah. You, are you serious? Whatever the government admits, yeah. the opposite is probably true. Okay. So, so if they said they don't know what they are, then they definitely know. They probably know. definitely know what the so fuck they are. If yeah. they're saying we don't know what they are, they appear to be UFOs. Yeah. We don't know. So what? what's the opposite? Tell me what happened. I think that it's technology that the United States has their hands on and they're testing. Okay. Either, that's, that's what I, mean, I think. Either way. That's once again, th- you guys are li- missing the point. Either way. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was not. You're not understanding. Either way, they're saying John there are right, UFOs. Right, 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 right. So what I'm saying is they just said, hey, there are UFOs. People didn't have massive panic. They didn't go nuts. Yeah, People didn't, didn't stop their, paying they, their bills. Yeah, but so I mean, but like, I mean, the so society, society's pretty so, fucking jaded here in 2022, right? So why lie from all about the shit it? that's going on? Well, if if imagine if on the front page of the New York Times they showed a fucking flying saucer landing on the lawn of the white front lawn of the White House, and they showed him fu- the fu- they showed. I think people would still pay their mortgages. I think they'd still go to go to work. You still have jerk offs going to work every day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. They'd be like, fuck that, yeah, I'm out of here. I think there'd be more YouTube videos. What do on you it? think would change? What nothing. Do you think, you I don't. Think nothing, I think Rogan changed. would do it. Would do a uh, would do a couple of podcasts. I think that uh, I I do one. The alien I'd, would. I'd yell at him to, to do one, and he'd say, <laughs> "I'm not doing anything trending. <laughs> I'm not doing it. All these jack offs on YouTube doing it. I'm not yeah. doing it." Alex I'm Jones gonna, would do one. I'm gonna yell about how these. People treated me at oh, when I, I flew. I bucked. The, I bucked the system. Right. So he wouldn't do it. You and I, you'd get somebody on here, scientists, to talk about it. But in the end, I think everybody would wash their cars and take their kids. It's to like that ball. movie. It's like that movie. Don't look up. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Such a great fucking yeah, movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, it was good. Such a great movie. It's funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I think. I think people would. Uh, I think it'd be like when nine eleven, when everyone became like super patriotic and like everyone was like pro America, and no, there wasn't all this like divided like. Trump versus the woke. I think everyone would, yeah. would start to become a little bit more level headed. For a little bit. For and then they'd bit. go nuts. For Biden would they'd have to walk Biden out on the yard and show him where the you where it is. That what is what is that the I think if we is realized, that Air Force two or is one? That, uh, no. No, if we those had, are aliens. If we realized that there was like another threat, like an existential threat outside of the earth, we would kind of team together a little bit more than we are now for sure. Yeah, but that's not even possible like the idea that aliens would come down here no we're and not invade. ready we're not ready yet <laughs> no but i mean like what would like if you could get to the earth from across the galaxy or universe then what like we're not much of a threat like you've got all of our problems beat i think they're waiting to come down i think they're waiting to reveal themselves to us and i think they check on us every once in a while and then they'll come down and they'll see boziak tattooing some girl's ass they say not ready they're not ready yet <laughs> they're not ready <laughs> It's like when you're baking cookies in the oven and you're checking. Nope, nope. Ten well, more minutes. Yeah, they're gonna be like these monkeys just figured out how to split the atom. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're gonna blow. They're gonna blow themselves up. I think that's why they're, they're coming here. I have I have a new proposition. Okay. Okay. Uh, I say we we need to start a GoFundMe, and if that GoFundMe can hit a ten thousand dollars, I will get Danny and Hat Rack's face tattooed no, on my ass that. cheeks. <laughs> nice. Listen, we're not doing a GoFundMe. No. <laughs> that, okay, well, we'll do a YouTube live. Is that we're, how we're, we're not going to fucking it? scam people out of GoFundMe? Because you know GoFundMe took all the truckers' money, right? Well, no, because not if you're upfront not exactly about what you're. We're not supporting the goddamn GoFundMe what truckers? assholes. Oh. The Canadian truckers. Oh, they get yeah. a piece of that, don't they? There was a whole GoFundMe set up to support the truckers, and there was I forget how much money. There was I think it was close to a hundred thousand or even a million dollars that was donated to support the Canadian truckers because they didn't want to get vaccinated because they fucking driving a truck. So he right. said, "No, we're not doing that." As in, we're not doing the tattoos. We're not doing GoFundMe. No, he didn't, like, GoFundMe, he didn't like GoFundMe. <laughs> GoFundMe didn't like the cause or whatever. I don't know what exactly, whatever happened, but they thought it was that political. It wasn't moral. Mm-hmm. It was political, and they took the fucking money. No way. Okay, once again, I cannot imagine that they just took a million dollars. Okay, they got okay, they had to get threatened by the government, okay, for from for fraud. And okay. I guess it looks like that they the, were well, the refunding. Did they refund refunding. everybody? Yeah. Why well, so I'd like to 10 everybody. million in listen, donations. 10 million dollars. Listen, listen, first of all, I'd like to say I'm the voice of reason here. I like not, not you cuz you don't say anything crazy, but between these two, <laughs> I feel like I'm the voice of reason, and that bothers me when I'm the voice of reason. <laughs> How bad is it? What do you mean, voice of reason? For like what? he's like they took a million dollars, they didn't take it. Like I don't even know what well, this let's is. Let's find and out what actually immediately happened. Immediately, if we find out, they they, they, they refund the money. 
you know, he, you know, they, we can't get to the moon. We can't. We don't have the technology. We can never go. We don't. We lost this. No, but basically, we just because we don't have the currently have the rockets, right? Well, yeah, we could go. Well, let's it. see. Did like, they refund the money? Let's find out. What did Ron DeSantis say? It is fraud for GoFundMe to co commandeer $9 million in donations sent to support the truckers and give it a cause of their choosing. I will work with so AG Mood to investigate these de deceptive practices. These donors should be given a refund. It's so they had to fight. Governors of fucking states had to fucking yeah. tweet and... Fight they tweeted to get the money get back. The money back. They refunded. They 10 went ten million. They were like, he had to hey. fucking type this tweet on his phone. So listen. The, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, like on a Monday, they get a tweet and they are like, look, we have ninety days to return the money. We're gonna. We sure, were planning on returning it anyway. Relax, calm down, and they returned it. Right. So we're not using GoFundMe then. So that's we're not. not so that's that's, that's why we're not. Using that's why you're not. Because, yeah, of course. Because they have a, a, a. They probably have a certain. I don't think we should use GoFundMe, Matt Cox. I don't, I don't listen. I. I. I look. I don't even want your your names on, or I your just faces thought that was like a, a, I just I'm thought that all no, no we're not doing names son. We're, Con, doing we're doing full faces, portraits baby full, full color portraits. portraits hell yeah full color I'm, portraits listen we don't have to use GoFundMe fuck GoFundMe I just that's the de facto go to for we crowdfunding we could set up a Patreon tier it's crowdfunding set up, okay. set up a Patreon Ooh, tier okay. where it's whatever a thousand bucks two thousand bucks whatever it might be for a tattoo what okay. if you don't reach it what, what are we gonna do you're gonna have people come on 9,500 I'm Which I think is more ass, like I'm tattooing my ass cheeks. If it's okay. nine thousand five hundred, not who ten. Who would you tattoo on your ass cheeks? Who would you like me to tattoo on my ass? He cheeks? just said he was doing me and you. Yeah, oh, for ten G's. Too. For ten G's. Where were Fuck you? Yeah. Well, we got to figure out the Patreon tiers, and we got to you got to label them, and you got to put the price on it, and then we can either do that or we can do donations live on YouTube on the YouTube live. <laughs> We're in. I mean, I'll promote it. Is Nobody watches my channel, but I'll enough? promote it. What's that? Would the tattoo gun be mobile enough to put in here and like? It's wireless. Okay oh, it's wireless. Yeah. You're okay, okay with this? I got bad. My uh, mine's okay. battery. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. Fuck yeah, dude! I want. Yeah, get a tattoo. it's not. It's not like a fucking giant. I'll get a tattoo live on the podcast if someone donates enough money. Okay. I'll tattoo you live on the podcast. I got actually. I have a tattoo that I want to get already, so we could start with that one, and then we can do other side ones for money. Yeah. A whore Wait, my skin is it, out. Is it a blimp? Another blimp? No, it's not. Okay. It's what is it? You guys checked out my Instagram, yeah? My tattoo Instagram? Not recently, but no. I have seen it, yeah. Boziac Conundrum? Anything new uh, on there? The Boziac.ink. I have a whole new one. Oh, do you really? Yeah, What's your new Instagram? Pull it up. Uh, What's just it called? Boziac.ink. Boziac.ink? Yep. Oh, yeah. I, got, I, didn't, I didn't follow that one. Um, it's tight. Anyways, what was I saying? I was thinking uh, about you earlier. You did all these? Yeah. Sick. Yeah, it's all my work. What if on the moon, all these countries like Russia, China, and the US, we like s established our own bases on the moon? The That'd moon be dope. is so fucking tiny. It'd be dope. There's no borders on the moon. Yeah. So what the fuck would that look like? It'd be dope. Would there be straight up fucking battles and wars going on? Oh, on yeah, the moon? there would be. That's like that movie with Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah. Astronaut. Yeah, exactly. And it was like the Wild West out there were shooting at each other on How fucking, fucking insane on rovers. That was that? a great that was a great was, fucking was, scene, a, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're fucking shooting at him on the one guy gets yeah. his face blasted oh, That's off. the dude that fell asleep when I was tattooing his face. That's him? Yeah. Damn, that guy's fucking psycho looking. Bro, what went wrong in yeah. his life that this guy's just like how bad was his childhood? Yeah, he was fucking he was a character. But yeah, man, I did. Uh, I, I've been tattooing a long time. Hell yeah, I like them. Thanks, man. Keep I'm, going. I'm thinking about trying to get into a shop out here in Tampa, uh, Florida, somewhere. There's a lot around here. A lot yeah. of Tampa too. Yeah, Tampa if you guys know St. anybody, uh, well, where do you live me. right now? Uh, I'm like out in like North Tampa, like out towards Wesley Chapel. Okay, this is better than fucking Lakeland, where Matt Cox lives. <laughs> Lakeland. I live in Wesley Chapel. Oh, I thought you lived in Lakeland. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Yeah, a little something, something. I'm not yeah, like I'm not sick. like I'm not like the baddest dude ever, but you know what I do, I try and just do it super clean. So yeah, those are dope. I like them. Need a Boziac tattoo. Yeah, we need to get some Boziac yeah. tattoos, bro. I'm down, dude. I'll bring all my equipment next time. Hell yeah, dude. What else? I was gonna ask you, Matt. What do you think about? What do you think about? You see, like, or you, what do you mm -hmm. think about, you see shit like putting ast putting people on the moon, fucking Elon shooting these rockets into space, trying to buy shit like Twitter. Yeah. I mean, listen, that's, Look, those are power moves by fucking billionaires. Those are billionaire power moves. And then, okay, they're power moves, but even, even like, 
fucking Mozart or or Michelangelo, mm -hmm. Salvador Dali, mm -hmm. the Empire State Building, Kanye West. <laughs> I'm dying to see how all this comes of the together. most all of the most insane human innovations in the history of the world. Sure. What if it's all just an elaborate mating ritual? What? I'm, I'm listen. I have an hour and a half drive. <laughs> a mating ritual? Yeah. What At if my it's age, like it's a, it's like a peacock? I get tired. Like a peacock has this fucking beautiful, broad, extravagant display of feathers it's for breeding. All it is is to attract a mate. What if all this crazy shit is? That's all it is. It's just mm. an elaborate fucking mating call that us monkeys do to impress other monkeys. To, and we, to and what, we you have a, you have a point. No, to attract a fucking mate. You have a point. At the very base level of everything is really. But we just come up with a backstory of meaning. We we create our own backstory mm. that has some elaborate meaning that we attach to it. But we're all so really it just trying to like, get laid. We're all just trying to fuck. Hell yeah. To further the species on some like you're talking about like on some primal level. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. What do you think about that theory? <laughs> Matt thinks it's funny. It's bullshit. I get it. It's bullshit. I I I. <laughs> In, on some level, I, I'm sure that that's a, a huge part of it, or a part of it. Yeah. You know? What, what is that pyramid? We talked about the pyramid before, where you, the first part of the pyramid is just trying to kind of be safe. And then the next the next higher level is to kind of, you know, you want security. Is that Maslow? Or and whatever? then, yeah, there's another level is like, you know, about having like future security. And the next level is mm -hmm. kind of about your legacy. Mm -hmm. And the next level, you know, it's that. Fuck that pyramid. What about the pyramid of consciousness? I don't know anything about. I don't know, really know even the name of the first pyramid I was talking about. So that's, I think that's Maslow's hierarchy you're talking about. Well, what what is this guy sense. doing? That makes a lot of sense. Can he pull that? What, what are you pulling up? The What happened to the pyramid? We're talking the pyramid. Like he doesn't pull anything. Nobody's up. Nobody's paying attention. All these people want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> the guy you're paying to work the the, the switches. What about like the period? <laughs> what done. about like the all these fucking bots that live mm. on Twitter? Like what percentage of tweets that you read are fucking oh. are just bots? Yeah, I don't whether, know. Oh, whether I was just erasing. I don't crypto. read tweets. Do the crypto people get into your oh comment my God, section, bro? It's insane. Hey, I trade with with John mm -hmm. Johnson. Oh, John's wonderful. He made me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, I know John. He just he cashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I go in there and just er remove, yeah. remove. Yeah, Dude, I mean, it's insane. It, whether it's crypto, whether it's politics, whether whatever it is, if you type out a certain thing and talk about a certain thing, whether it's politics or crypto, you're going to get all these fucking comments with the same bots. fucking thing. Yeah. There's so many fucking bots They say on it Twitter. comes from Russia. A lot of it comes from Russia. Well, there's yeah. the Russian farms. What's that yeah. lady's name who talked, who did that? The uh, TED Talk? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Renee DiResta. Mm -hmm. Talks about, there's like, even in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest, what was it? The king of Saudi Arabia, yeah. or the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, they were the biggest group that fought back against elon taking over twitter they did not want elon yeah. to take over twitter because he's like all you know he wants to make it more in, balanced in china they have state-sponsored hacking right, right where they just fund they buy buildings and they just pack it full of people that are on computers 24 hours a yeah. day trying to hack into everything in america they everything. indicted they indicted a bunch of those guys yeah a ton of mm -hmm. ton of those oh, guys yeah. they indicted that's the problem what that's the problem with with free speech on twitter where do you draw the line like what was the purpose of the, the free speech aren't what was the purpose of well, there's no line for free speech right I mean, this there is because well, they have they have a community they have community guidelines. There's rules they have to follow. For who? Who are you talking about? For, for Twitter, China? For oh, Twitter. For Twitter. For Twitter. Yeah. There's there's like it's supposed to be free speech, but the reason that they ban people is be for reasons, right? They're mm -hmm. trying to avoid doxing. They're trying to avoid like real calls for violence on. Yeah, people. I was gonna say I could see violence. To me, violence would really probably be the only thing that I could say. Hey, look, you you just can't advocate violence. Mm -hmm. Like at that point. I'd be good. And that was their mm -hmm. that was their ultimate reason for banning Trump, right? They're saying that he incited the January 6th riots or whatever. Yeah, it would have to be pretty yeah. specific violence. You'd have to pretty be pretty for me to say, "Listen, listen we got to wipe we can't you can't say that." Like I would have to be pretty specific. Not Yeah, that whole what Trump he said, vague, what Trump he Trump said was very vague. So the like, whole Trump ban shit was fucking wild, man. Like if you think about it, dude, that's the wildest fucking shit ever of president getting banned. Uh, dude, get, cuz that right there <laughs> lets you know that who, the people who run these companies are part of, you know, a, a particular fucking agenda and are part of a particular fucking side of the political fucking 
You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's obvious. For like, sure, it's, yeah. it's fucking straight fucking obvious. When something like that happens, it's like okay, then there is an agenda, and there is fucking some kind of uh, ulterior fucking motive here. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's just like what the fuck? That's, yeah. that's insanity. That's pure fucking insanity that that's happening. And the other, there's lots of other, like Milo Yiannopoulos getting banned. The yeah. other person who got banned, I forget who it was, but some some person tweeted, a man is not, not a woman or something like that. They got banned. Fired suspended, immediately. Suspended from Twitter permanently. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's crazy, man. This guy I know, this guy I know, <laughs> this political commentator kid uh, that, that posts a lot of shit on YouTube, um, Kyle Kalinske, mm. he posted replying to some sort of political tweet from somebody like, like mocking the dude. And then posted that gif of the head exploding. You know the gif from that movie? It's like a it's a gif of like this guy with a clay head and his head just explodes. Mm-hmm. And it's like clearly like clay fake animatron or like right. special effects. Right. And they they fucking blocked it and suspended his Twitter profile saying that it was like depicting acts of violence or whatever. But you can find a million other tweets using that same fucking gif. Yeah. But it's because this guy's like a left leaning commentator yeah. or whatever. I mean, they enforce the rules when <clears throat> and how they want to yeah. on who they choose to. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. It's it, all part of it. It's, it's all part of it. suspicious like like But then the there's board trying to block Elon from from buying it. Yeah. It's suspicious because what is he going to find? Like is there something that he could find that he would expose that goes deep? Like yeah. really deep? I don't know. Maybe I don't even know if it's that deep. I think that they just they don't they, they don't, don't want to, they don't want him to change what yeah. they got going on. They don't need that kind of ink on Sugar Mountain. You know what I'm talking about? They don't fucking they don't need it. They don't fucking they got what well, they got what they're one trying to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got what they're trying to do, and he knows that they're he's gonna come in and he's gonna just fucking fuck their shit up. He's yeah, gonna why cause he's gonna cause chaos. To? Why would it matter when they're gonna make all that money? I mean, his the the price Maybe that he offered about for the share. Money. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's say. about the money. Why, then what is it about? It's about their agenda. It's, it's about, about control. Agenda. Yeah, it's about their agenda. What is, why is their agenda so much more important than making millions and millions of dollars? Because they're pro- because the people that own Twitter are already multi 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 because millionaires. They're already you know once you've the got, agenda's all so part they don't of think it, like so they think they they have some agenda that is that is yeah. so moral and so just that it is more important. It might not than be making, moral yes. and just. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't an, say it's, it's an moral. And, maybe t- in their opinion, they, yeah. they think so. Yeah, but in their mind, would, it must be. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you understand like the difference between. If you have like you know two, you're worth two trillion and you're worth three trillion. You do understand that yeah. it's not like you get a bigger car. Like nothing really changes. There, right. there was a study that. done, and they said after about like seventy or eighty thousand or one hundred and seventy or something like that thousand dollars a year, the your life doesn't really improve. Like your fucking your your state of well being, your your means, it doesn't really improve up to that point. Mm-hmm. You know, so and like a lot of these people, they're just not motivated by. The money anymore. The money. They it's got just all the not money. even about that. It's like they they live through some altruistic. They think that their view of the world is al- altruistic and that it's the, that's and the only way. And they want to push that on people. And yeah, it's a, it's a mental illness. But it seems it's a like, literal fucking mental illness. But it it doesn't seem like it's it doesn't see it doesn't feel like it's like nah, we don't want them to do it. Our answer is no. Like they panicked and went to an extreme to block it. But okay, so but why say somebody that's more left leaning and more liberal uh, does the same exact thing and has no zero consequences, or or for granted they do something even way crazier? Like they'll say something way fucking more wild than that. You know what I mean? They'll make some fucking kind of like some feminist will say fucking all white men need to die or all women need to abort uh, male babies. And that's just fucking allowed to float around on Twitter. Those people don't get taken off. But he says something that can be misconstrued, and all of a sudden now he's down and fucking barred from the platform. Come on, man. Come on. There's, there's, it's a fucking obvious. It's obvious. Yeah, it is obvious, but it's wild, man. There's so many different variables. Yeah, you're, I mean, there's like so there's a lot of different like moving Saudi, parts. Like Saudi Arabia. And like, at the what end are you of the day, about Saudi Arabia. What are you going to do about countries that you can't you can't tell Saudi Arabia yeah. they're not going to use bots and they're not going to ban yeah. people for saying shit? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a private co- corporation. It's not a public utility. It's a private corporation that they can pretty much do whatever they want with their product. Whether, you know, and, and, and it's just because of the way things are. It's like a, the, the de facto it's, public square for people to communicate. And it's like, mm. what do you say, do? What, didn't did, he say he wanted to take it private? He said if he bought it, he would take it private. What was the point of him taking it private? Well, it's a publicly traded company. It's publicly now. traded, but he said he wanted yeah. to make it private. If he bought it, if he bought it outright, he would. He said that's the only way to fix it. Because you know, Why I don't, don't, because then it? you wouldn't have to be yeah, I don't behold, understand. beholden to your you don't have to your share members, your, share, your shareholders. shareholders. We need to get you a mic. Mm. 
Yeah. You don't have, you're not beholden to your shareholders. Like you don't have to have a, a, a board of directors that keeps coming in and saying, look, we're not making money. We have to do this. We have to do that. We have to do this. If it's just the a board, private the, owner, the yeah. board is the only ones that have you're to legally obligated to make money for yeah. your investors. You have to, Jack du- Jack Dorsky or Dor- what, what, Dorsey. Dorsey. Jack, Dorsey. Jack Dorsey just tweeted something. He tweeted something crazy like two days ago or yesterday about the board of directors. And he was saying how this is like some fucking crazy fraud movie that he's going through. It's like the board, what he's witnessed over the past 10 years in Twitter. He's like, there has to be some sort of Hollywood thriller made about this because there's like these coups that are happening within mm-hmm. the company. Yeah. What did he say? Find the exact quote for what he said. Try the try, click the New York Post. This one. jerk off takes cold showers every day. <laughs> he does. Jack Dorsey rips. Keep going. There it is. What? He, yeah, he said it's. It's consistently been the dysfunction of the company. Dorsey said later when he asked about another user, he was allowed. Uh, if he was allowed to say this, he replied no. Um, in another Dor- in another tweet, Dorsey responded to the user who quoted the venture capitalist Fred Destin as praising the Silicon Valley proverb: wait, "Wait, good boards don't good boards don't create good companies, but a bad board will kill a company every time." Keep going down. Big facts, he said. <laughs> uh, he said something about like a Hollywood thriller and like coups happening. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's all kinds of internal shit going on there. People are fucking fighting it. I'm really happy Elon is joining the Twitter board. He cares deeply. Well, he didn't join the board. Oh, that's that was the first tweet. That's when he said he was buying like 10% or whatever. And then he purposely didn't join the board because when you're a board member, you can't own more than 15% of the company. Mm. Anyways, but he said there's like been a lot of fucking crazy shit happening on the insides yeah. of that company, whatever. And it's like he was really stoked on Elon doing it. But yeah. I mean, listen, I, I think it's a good move. But Elon doesn't know. He's got to figure out how to get that much that much money. Dude, he's got a lot going on. Now he's trying to fucking take over Twitter and go to fucking Mars. And How's he going to get 40 dig billion? Dig tunnels underneath the earth and fucking Jesus Christ, man. This guy. How would he get $40 billion? You only have to get 50 what? You only have to get a certain percentage got and then get some and other guys to go along with you. He's got you that and probably fucking interest. stock and, and be fucking in Tesla how stock. Much, how much stock would he have to sell to get $45 billion? Oh, that's a good question. How many socias do you need to get $40 billion? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God. the population of a small country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are we done? Are we done, Matt? We got Matt's <laughs> fucking over it. I gotta drive an hour. I gotta drive an hour. Should we end it? Is there any dogs? conspiracy theories you do kind of believe in a little bit? I I mean I I, I don't. <laughs> no. Things that I believe in are conspiracy theories. They're just true. Matt doesn't spend any of his time. <laughs> Is there any it's interesting not, things out there? That's I, like, I, hmm, you maybe know, that could be true. Because I you know honestly it's like I have. What's you the know, most important thing in your life, Matt? I mean, what, what do you mean? What's the most important thing in your life? I mean, to be happy. What, do you what mean? makes you happy? I mean, spending time with my girlfriend makes me happy. Painting makes me happy. Writing makes me happy. Why, mm. pa- why painting and writing? I like doing the pod, my podcast, you know? I like so, hanging out with people that I like hanging out with. Number one is your girlfriend. Yeah. Number two is painting and writing. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Why the painting and writing? Because it makes you, you money. You realize like working out is like not even on the top 10. I'm not talking about like, working I out. I hate working out. I'm talking about like the, the reading and writing. Why do you like the, the painting and the writing? Um, it's just, it's creative. It's like, you know, it's like. It's an expression. Yeah. You just like to zone you out. Mow your, you ever mow your own yard? I love yard? mowing my own right, yard. That's the, one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, is it really? I love watching the TikToks. I, he, you send me some clips. <laughs> I watch them on Instagram and on TikTok. The fucking guys who make these perfect fucking lawns. I could watch I didn't, that shit. I didn't know any of this, by the way. <laughs> I didn't know any of this. But what I always tell people when they're like. at night. I look at that shit. Well, whenever people say like, you know. Lawn like, porn. Do you yeah. like <laughs> lawn porn? You know, whenever people say like, do you like painting? And they're like, why do you like painting? Why? Because I love when you kind of you're, when you're completely done and you step back and you look at it and you're like, wow, like I did that. Like, look at that. Like, like I feel this this great feeling, mm-hmm. a, a yeah. feeling of fulfillment. Yeah, I and, dig it. And and so like that's when you finish something, you're like, wow, I can't believe I did that. And whenever mm-hmm. people are like, well, I don't really, I don't know what you mean. I always say, do you mow your own yard? And then they go, yeah, I do. How do you feel when you? Completely done. Stop the mower. Turn around and look. How it's do you like feel? A, it's, like a, like, it's like wow. a fucking uh, Michelangelo. Right. It's great. <laughs> yeah. It's a great feeling. Like that's really for someone who doesn't paint or write. They don't understand that. But if you say, "Did you mow your yard?" and they're like, or even paint a room, they're like, 
That yeah, feeling of I know what you're mean. I know mm-hmm. what you're mean because yeah. you don't get that doing someone's taxes. You don't get that doing someone's taxes. Yeah, I don't think you get that with if you work in the warehouse. No, you know. But I, I don't think, even get that when I edit like a video. Like I fucking hate. I was gonna them. say maybe. I was. I was gonna say maybe. I was it thinking is. maybe that would work, but no, it doesn't because it's fucking torture editing videos. I hate it. Yeah, it, it's yeah. long and, and arduous, and yeah. then when you're done, it's like but when you, you I, and you well, never really feel. Good, like like no. You're perfect. staring at this like, fucking screen, yeah. sitting in a chair. It's but when like, you edit one, when you're mowing a lawn, you're fucking out in the sun. It's a clear. You're, you're clearly done. You're getting exercise. You can have your headphones in, listen to a fucking audio book. You learn. You get exercise. You get the vitamin D, and you're fucking creating this beautiful lawn. Yeah, yeah. It sounds stupid. It's so I fulfilling. It zen. It's so fulfilling. Not not yeah. only is zen, but it's extremely productive. What about washing your car? You kind of get I that hate washing. washing my car. See, I, see, I think see, some people. Opposite. I'll bet you some people get that washing I their car. It. Some people are like, I hate. Lo- I, I don't get that mowing the yard. But that most people, if you're lucky, you have something like that mm-hmm. in your life. Yeah, washing your car's close. Yeah. I do it every week. I would do it twice a week if I if I had the need to. Yeah. When I was really obsessed with my car when I was younger, yeah. I used to do it every week. But see, I, I don't really like my car. Right. You know. Like if I was driving a Lamborghini, I'd probably be like, wash that fucker. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, you no, know, if today. If you were driving a Lamborghini, you wouldn't give a fuck. You'd just pay yeah. some kid to wash it. Yeah, Matt wouldn't True. I th- wash his own car, even I, if it was a Lamborghini. I, I would wash. <laughs> Get me a Lamborghini. Wash me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's find out. But then I, when, we were, when, when we were painting and I threw that painting up on, my, on the hood of my car, I was like, it's great not giving a shit about your car. Like I wanted the sun to bake the painting to make it dry right away. I took it out and just popped it on the top of my car and walked back in the garage. Yeah. But yeah, but so yeah, I, I like painting. I like I like writing. I like painting, especially writing. And it's all about it's all about the feeling that you get. All about like that Zen sort of accomplishment feeling. That's yeah, what it's, it's all about. Or is it is is money involved in that at all? No, because I don't really make a bunch of money. You don't I don't. Do it for I don't. Money. I don't make a bunch of money doing like no one thing pays my bills. Like I make some money on books sales. And I don't even push my book sales. Mm-hmm. You know, I make some money on painting. I make some money on doing like commercials and and you know podcasts and things. You know, being interviewed and so I make a little here, a little here. And, and luckily, by the end of the month, I I'm able to pay my bills. You know, so and I'm and of course that's helping me try and put together some documentaries and work on different projects. And I'm hoping those projects end up, you know, end up being something and and making some money. But right now, I'm super happy. When you're when you're writing, is it a similar f- process to the painting? Is it mindless, or do you have to like sit there and like really? Think? No, it's I, I it's way different because I just I, I'll I'll sit there for two hours and write three sentences, and other times I'll sit down and I'll write two pages in an hour. So it's just it's just totally just how structured is it? Like how much work is it? Do you sit there and be like, hmm, maybe this sentence should be here. Absolutely. Maybe I should use this word instead. And do you sit there and think like, hmm, what listen, word? I hit the thesaurus. I hit, I hit the synonym, oh, really? synonym, 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 like that like, thesaurus. Okay, what about this? Then I go and you know it's and it's, this is writing. Just if you're working on a project, or is this just like writing because like it's a ritual just to write? No, I write almost every day now. Like I did for what, months and what months. Is, and months. What does your daily writing consist of? Um, you know, just different stories that I'm working on. Okay, so stories that you're working on. Right. You don't just simply just write out thoughts or ideas or no, no. Plus, like you, shit like like journaling or like diet, like like write like journaling. About no, what it's happened. always it's always stories. It's always someone's story. You know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm I, Pete and I, my buddy Pete. Uh, we've yeah. been working on something for God a, over what since I left prison, like two years. We've been working on a story about this these guys, the chip heist I told you about, and and. You know, the Chinese guys that were robbing all these uh, chip manufacturers and sending the chips back to China back in the 90s. But, you know, we've been working on that. I'm working on one about me being in prison uh, in a, about a book I wrote uh, in a lawsuit and getting out. And then there's, um, you know, and then I'm working on Jess's story right now because she's got actually a great story. She just hates to talk about it. So I'm ordering documents and that sort of thing. So I'm always kind of working on. I get up early. I work for a couple hours. Sometimes I write three sentences. Sometimes, sometimes it's a page. You know, if you do a little bit every day, and then one day I'll turn around, I'll go, "Oh my god, it's good." So I think it's done. And I'll let a few people read it, and I'll go, "Holy shit, I think this is done." Do you feel more creative uh, about doing your or more motivated to do your work after you go to the gym early, or does that make a difference? No, that doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference. I feel more motivated after I've had two cups of coffee. <laughs> two cups of coffee. Yeah. I feel that. 
What's up with your, don't you have some sort of like uh, documentary coming out, John? Or are they working on shopping some sort of show for you or something? Yeah. Um, yeah. What's up with They're that? They're just trying to get it all figured out right now. <laughs> I, I was, I was going to say, I was waiting for <laughs> Like to me, I'm always like, they have, they're they're signing this, they're doing this. Like I I know what's happening the whole way through. And when I say to him, and if you mention it to him, he's like, "Well, it's taking forever." Well, what's that? What I'm like, it takes time. This no, is I know. what happens. Yeah, and I you know, get it. I get it. It's just know. one of those things where it's like, you know, you get to a certain yeah. point, and then there's negotiations, and then they get to another certain point, and then there's negotiations, and then there's no goes more negotiations, and then. Sometimes it gets fucking just sit somewhere and doesn't do anything for four or five weeks. And then all of a sudden you get a fucking text message and you're like, okay, we're moving on this. We're moving on that. So it's just like, mm. well, I don't know. At least they didn't tie you up and make you like. No, it's, it was, no, no, it's it. definitely happening. The wheels are turning. Uh, things are happening. Uh, you know, so stuff's getting signed and scheduled. Can we watch the shit, trailer man? or the sizzle they made? Uh, no. He'll, really? He'll not. You've seen it. Like you've yeah. seen it. You know, I've like. No, the the guy that's doing it, he'd go, he'll go nuts. Do you understand yeah. that? You understand that fuck anything, him. anything, fuck him. And no, yeah, anything he posts, like they they oh, are all yeah. over him. Do my social media. If I post something that's even kind of like can be sketchy. considered sketchy, like racist or fucking anything, anything they can take. The director out of context, gives him a call. They don't even call him anymore. Yeah, well, they, they, <laughs> they they're done calling him because he argues. Yeah. They call me. Go, you gotta call. You gotta, listen. I don't. He's gotta take that post. You gotta take that. I'm like, well, I don't. Like, what what post do they ask you to take? Oh, down? quite a few. Yeah, there's been quite yeah. a few. And like, they, don't, and they, they never like mean that. anything. Like he the, to the head. What was the head? <sighs> One, I had like a giant clown head on my on the helmet. Like head. Can like, we see this? Do you have it on save um, on your phone? Yeah, I have it on my phone. But they they were trying like, saying, oh, that's a racist. It, they were saying it looks like it's you're in in blackface, but it wasn't. It's a clown head from from uh, what's his name Rob uh, Rob Zombie yeah. movie that happens to be. Um, is the guy black or brown? It's just a brown head. It's not even. I don't think it's even. Yeah. So no, take it down. It looks bad. It look. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look. It looks bad. That was the photo you posted. Yeah, I had to take it down. That's not the only one. There's been multiple ones. And I, I'll show you another one that I had to take down. Well, it's still up. Yeah, I saw it. No, I, it's archive. Oh, it's archive. Yeah, right. I, I didn't take it out archive. Right. Because it's going back up. Eventually. So they God think the people that are trying to sell this fucking well, documentary, you know, they bro, think I had to take that one down, too. Well, you know, they're, bro, they're con they're always concerned, even oh, though. Oh, because that's supposed to be, what's that, what's that supposed to no, mean? But white that, power? White power. I didn't know that. I, I do, I, I, this For, is what I do. Yeah, first of all, that's, that, that's not, it, it's, uh, it's a sign that they're taking and twisting. Yeah. You know? Does that really mean white power? Is that what that I don't know. I That's mean, like me saying okay. You know? Yeah. That means white power. S shut up. Yeah, huh? so, you know, I don't know. It, it, yeah, the, so. Everything is. What is the re Do they explain to you why they want to I'm be under a microscope. Even. They don't even, want me to fuck up any potential any sell it to, yeah. a net, to Netflix. Right. They don't want to be like, okay, because they're going to tell somebody about me. The people are going to look into me. Mm -hmm. and they're going to go to my Instagram and be like, wait a minute. What about because this post right here? These mm -hmm. executives at these networks are super fucking sensitive yeah. to right. any kind right. of yes. shit like this. Right. Right. It doesn't race, matter that political. it's. I'm like, well, they better not go and watch my fucking YouTube Bro, channel then. Please post a Make America. You should have worn a Make America Great Again hat on this podcast. Oh, Nike gets crucified for that and that, that's not even really like I w if I were to do it I just to ruffle feathers but that's not really right like I but like, the whole thing is never... like, like the whole thing is like he's he's not a racist person these aren't racist no. things they're like yeah but they could be construed as it's like oh my god are you serious yeah. dude it's imagine how not. much imagine how much that would fucking suck to have your whole livelihood based on these fucking right. like, you're, political you're, ideologies yeah. yeah so that's how I'm living right now oh, you so should, I can't and you really should go hear nuts how I want to on our group chats <laughs> I can't I go fucking. I don't give go a shit. Go nuts. Bro, you understand our group chats? Like I say stuff like, like <laughs> I'm gonna say one of the mundane ones. He like they'll they'll say, you know, hey, we're waiting for so and so to respond. We 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 get sent them an email. We're waiting for the response. And I I say, hey, listen, do you have this guy's address? Because I'll get a couple of Mexicans to go throw them in the trunk of their car, drive around for a couple of hours. <laughs> Duct tape him to a chair. We're in a group chat with like eight people that right. are working on this film. Right. Duct duct tape him to a chair, and then we'll have a conversation just to soften him up. Do you remember the I, one? And, and so wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> None of them respond. He's laughing. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's, that's funny. Like, we're going back and forth. Like you understand? That it's like it's like text, 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 text. And then I say that. Boom. Dead silent <laughs> for like fifteen <laughs> minutes, and then all of a sudden I just get like I'll get like. Like he'll, well, I don't even want to say his name. I'll get like the emoji with just the big eyes. 
yeah, yeah. like that. <laughs> It's what like, about what about the one where he's like they're terrified? He's like, okay, that's so, so they sent us a picture funny, of this dude man. and like we're pitching to this dude or we're trying to get this guy signed on board. So I just dump on, I do a quick Google search of the guy. Apparently, he has some kind of wild fucking sex charges against him or no, something. No, no, like, it was it was that he had been sued by um by an assist um what do they call an intern yeah. an intern yeah a female intern had sued him for sexual harassment. Yeah. And I'm like, so I, uh, so I pull what, up the one news of the guys article. Who in production? This was just no, 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 somebody no, no. they were they were pitching. They were oh, talking okay, to, yeah, they were talking to him, mm-hmm. and they're like, we're trying to get him involved. So then I sent the news article in the fucking in the thing. He goes, and is then this, this the guy, right? Yeah, this is the guy, and then the fucking what? He, what you came on and says something about? Oh, um, I came back and oh, for, then they were like, oh, well, maybe we should reconsider talking to him. I, I guess it's not, you know, I, I guess we're not going to approach him. That doesn't sound like someone we want to deal with. And I go, well, wait a second, what did she look like? <laughs> I said, let's not jump to conclusions here, bro. Yeah. I said, this may have been a perfectly reasonable uh, um, sexual harassment. I said, sometimes it's just good behavior. You know, so I'm going back and forth. Um, listen, he's. We're talking about it. That's like a phone call. Like, hey, listen, I, uh, you know, those are the kinds of things that you say in a chat, and they come back to you five years later. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. But, but then again, you know, we have nothing to lose. Yeah, you know, they, they so work. On, they work on right, huge right, projects right. with like these massive, you know, fucking multi, yeah, conglomerate billion know, dollar yeah, yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah. Like they can't big time, big time budgets and shit. So I they can't I even comment. Good. Yeah, people are getting fucked up over f- tweets from five years ago. So I can only f- somebody publishes the whole chain of fucking chats that's going mm. off and yeah, fucking yeah, they're yeah, they're not stupid enough to comment. We're we terrify them. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah that's awesome. I'm a loose cannon. They're fucking terrified of me just sinking <laughs> this you, whole goddamn thing. Fuck can, you, <laughs> can you please just call him? Just call him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Uh, yeah, yeah. they're they're st- they think I'm gonna torpedo the whole thing before it even gets legs. So they're just trying to fucking. That's why I don't really post or like. I go crazy on my podcast sometimes when I probably shouldn't about a lot of shit. But I, my social media, I kind of don't really. I don't really fuck around. That is. Insane. I want to shoot. I want to shoot man. shoot myself in the foot. Yeah. I want to read some of those group chats. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. I was like, maybe we should get Harvey Weinstein involved. He fucking, <laughs> I was like, he, <laughs> I was like, he fucking gets bangers going. <laughs> he would have had this thing oh, filmed God. and released by now. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I threw Harvey in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. They didn't like none of that at all. These fucking, yeah. and these are all like well to do. Oh, yeah. Their sense of humor is real dry. <laughs> it's not like, you know, not like you're in the gutter like ours is. You know what I mean? Where are they all from? Where they all live? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Upper crust, uh, northeast, like New York area, something like that. Yeah, that jet okay. region, that region, all of them. That re- <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't really know. To be complete, I think I'm. I'm assuming. I'm making assumptions here, but I believe they're all from the northeast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking weird. That sucks. That's yeah. why the, the rise of this independent shit is is, uh, is going through. Is, yeah, you, listen, sucks, I have man. a I have a an idea. Like I was gonna t- actually talk to you about it at some point. Like I I called up the the director slash producer, I called him up and talked to him. I said, listen, here's what happened. I go through the whole thing. Boom, 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 boom. Immediately he went to, the problem with that is that we're, you, we, we would be pitching that documentary to people that have longstanding relationships with that production company. And as a result, like he immediately started die. I'm like, yeah, but it's an amazing story. He's like, I, I, and, I, and it is, I'm like, in the B-roll you can use and the people that are involved in this and I can get everybody lined up. And, and he's like, and I understand that. The problem is getting the money to do this and then you ask yeah. him to place it on the on a platform that they buy from that production company and then they they will have issues with it's that political like, like it mm-hmm. becomes super political and i'm like yeah but it's all true it's like it, it's irrelevant that it's true i'm like yeah but this is what happened and he's like it, that doesn't matter like it doesn't matter that it's an amazing story yeah. and that it's all 100 percent true it's no it could damage their relationship with this company and this company was like fuck yeah it's just this giant everybody's in bed with right. bureaucracy right it is man it's like you're the it's like the fucking government so I mean, I immediately started thinking, well, who who do I know? Like, I basically need to get somebody that would go against the grain. Mm-hmm. And the first person was I was like, well, Danny's Danny. as disgusted as I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was disgusted years earlier. Yeah, like, yeah. you know. Oh my god, Danny will film it for we're you. We're in a group chat with uh, a group of friends, and um, I was really. Uh, he said something really funny there. They were talking about uh, Kyrie Irving. You know how like Kyrie Irving's like you know he didn't want to get vaccinated, so like you know obviously there's fucking two opposing views of Kyrie. Mm. Everyone who says oh freedom, the crazy fucking people like I love Tucker loves Kyrie Irving, and uh, you know Tucker. all the all the super woke 
people who love vaccines. I think Kyrie's in the fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. And we're just in a, in a group chat with somebody and she's like, or, uh, they're big LeBron fans. And, uh, Kyrie and LeBron, they're obviously like going at it. They're not like super close anymore because Kyrie talks shit about LeBron. They're they're both on opposite ends of the spectrum right. when it comes to that <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so Kyrie Kyrie and LeBron is just like left and right kind of. Um, and uh, one of the people in the group chat was like, "The only reason I would like Kyrie is if he went back and played with LeBron and he shut up and didn't say a word, <laughs> never opened his mouth." And Shane responded, he goes, so he should shut up and dribble. <laughs> there was a big, uh, there was it a was big a stink. Silence after that. <laughs> Dude, it was fucking great. I didn't do it justice, but if you were watching the group chat. You had to be there. You had to be One there. of those you had to have been there. Yeah, you had to be there. It was okay. great. But um, where was I going with that? I don't remember. Kyrie Irving. What were we talking about before that? I don't know. Oh, filming uh, a movie or whatever. Yeah, and, and vaccination. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something to do with vaccination. Yeah. Anyways, we'll make your docu documentary, Matt. Film it concrete style. Hell yeah. What about our other idea that we had? Bro, I, do you have any idea how much time that would require? Of me? I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm like struggling like just to pay my bills at this point. I need, a, a, I need some time to figure this out. We got to do it, man. I mean, yeah. Can't we just boost somebody's content? I mean, can't we just take somebody's content and redo it? Plus, you know how much research it takes? Yeah. I mean, it's it's outrageous the amount. And, and, or <laughs> get me the, the – that guy, listen, that I don't even know how much that guy really – I think he may just be ad-limbing some of the stuff. Like, you're talking about we, we have to get – we have to get footage of the people. Like for, you got to go get the footage of them. Mm -hmm. Then you have to kind of go through it piece by piece and break it apart. I'm Where, not yeah, a like psychiatrist. Yeah. I mean, I don't Dude, really know. That guy's channel is fucking in amazing. I, for, I already forget the name of it. Who's I've talking, watched it. Who are you talking I, about? What's the guy's name again? Can you say? <laughs> no, I didn't stick with you. I forgot the name of his channel. Um, it, it's the guy that he he. What does he, he do? He, he he breaks down like these criminal interviews. Mm -hmm. So like they'll show like the uh, the fucking. For example, is he like a psychologist? For example, the guy who shot up the movie. Theater. I don't think he, that initially. I he sounds super confident, right? Mm -hmm. Like you really think he's. First, he tells you a little bit about. I'm sorry, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. He first he tells you a little bit about the case, like you know, like 15 students were 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 shot, blah blah blah. Then they caught him, you know, or then they caught the kid, and then they get him into the room. And at this point, you can tell he he's he's acting normal. Mm -hmm. He knows he's concerned. You can see the concern when he does this, when he does. And he kind of just talks about what he's doing. Then he says, however, once the detective walks in the room, notice how he immediately, you know, appears to be, uh, you know, riddled with anxiety and stress, how he suddenly starts talking to, you know, and he's basically saying how he's faking it. Right. He's faking being crazy or whatever. And then mm -hmm. when he leaves, so he, he kind of, and he keeps stopping the video and, and explaining and then letting the video go and then stopping it, letting it go. Like, we got to figure out the name of this guy, Austin. So yeah. it ends up being like an hour to two hour long thing where he really breaks down the whole thing. But I watched one the other day that Danny sent me. And the more I th thought about it, I thought, you know, he's not using any technical terms. He's just really saying what he thinks is happening. So I'm like, I was like, how much real research do I have to do? Right, mm -hmm. right. I mean, what I really None. just need is the videotape. Like, right. where's the videotape, and, and why is this person being interviewed? So, so if, one of his most popular videos is a guy who had just got done murdering, like, his whole family. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting in the interrogation room with the fucking guy. He's handcuffed to the fucking table, and the guy's interrogating him. And he's, he's, like, he's like, fucking, like, going like this, like, like making these weird hand movements. Mm -hmm. And acting like he's insane. And the moment the fucking cop walks out of the room, this is it. JCS, criminal psychology. What what's, uh, what does JCS stand for again? I forget. It's like Jimmy something. Oh, there's the, uh, what's what's her name? The one that stabbed her. So, yeah, go, go, to, go to videos. Go to videos. Find like his, his top video. That one right there. Uh, yeah, click uh, that one. Jody Ayers. 61 oh, yeah. million views. Fuck. All of his videos are like this. In the last six, in seven or eight months. Watch this. That's the Colorado dude. Look at him. Cruz was a left-handed shooter. 
The surveillance at the school would confirm this, and if you pay close attention to the movements of his hands in the next moments, although very subtle, you can see that he's reimagining holding his weapon. But what's more telling is how his demeanor abruptly stops and then completely switches right before he looks in the direction of the camera. He goes from holding a rifle and beginning to smirk to then pretending to cry and reverting back to his suicidal mannerisms. This all occurs in under four seconds. It could be assumed that for a brief moment, hmm. he was not only recollecting the attack, but gaining gratification. Like, how do you know so. any of that? He was on film. Right. He's just giving his observations. A lot of assumptions. Yeah. Right. Living the attack and enjoying his work, while his false self was so dejected Sounds to good. the point he was externalizing suicidal thoughts. Complete opposites. <laughs> His next calculated charade is one of self-harm. He first bites himself without drawing blood, or leaving any marks that were visible in his jail intake photographs. The fuck? He's like pretending to chew his wrist off. He then scratches and squeezes at the two needle punctures in his arm from where his blood was taken at the hospital. At the very moment the detective re-enters the room, he will act as if he's desperately trying to conceal his self-injurious behavior. All right. Setting aside the glaring contradiction that he just murdered and maimed dozens of people while leaving himself without so much as a scratch, it's the frequency of these little charades that makes their deception so transparent. This is a person who is not self-injurious, pretending to be someone that is. But it's such a feeble attempt at feigned self-harm, it would okay. almost be a common... Anyways, that's good. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so he breaks down the psychology of all these fucking crazy people that like commit right. heinous crimes and murders. And uh, they have fucking insane views. And they just got, like, I don't know what happened. His channel's still up, but he got, like, a, a vast majority of his content got taken down by YouTube. Uh, for Casey Anthony videos got 25 million views. Yeah, bro, it's insane. But they took it down saying it was, uh, it was too violent. But there's no fucking violence. They're just showing the people in the interviews. Which yeah. is insane. And, it's, and people are losing their shit about it because they obviously a lot of people love this guy's yeah. channel. Yeah, the pro I think the problem is is where do you find the videos? Yeah, where well, yeah. How do you, That's the you know, part. right? And you know, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I mean, I, I get the if they're con men and and, and if it's if it's like white collar crime, that right. would be perfect for someone like you. But where do you get those videos? Like That's the question. That's the thing. That, yeah, it's not it's not going to be easy. Well, but I mean, I understand, but I mean, at this point in my financial, you know, uh, well, <laughs> we can't yeah. afford it. Matt's always crying about being broke. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am, I am. Meanwhile, he's making a seven hundred dollars a month on Patreon. Congratulations, by the way, that's great. Cha ching, that's fucking amazing, just, man. Just under seven hundred. Listen, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm proud I, of you. I've got, I've got my, uh, uh, my different tiers. When I had, um, when I had Brett Johnson in here, I'm giving away paintings. When I had Brett Johnson in here, he mm. was telling me, so this Matt Cox guy. As soon as we finish recording, he goes, yeah. so this Matt Cox guy. I've had dozens of people yeah. telling me that I got to get Matt Cox in a room and we can we got to record together. I told him. I was, he was I, telling I, me. I told him already. You I did? Went, I, when I seen him on Lex Friedman, and I was like, oh, my God, this guy's coming out of the woodwork doing interviews again. Fucking, I was like, dude, Matt, we got to get him on the podcast. Yeah, and then you, I you, sent have, him his, a, you yeah. have his contact info. Yeah, I do. He was just, yeah. he was just here the other day. Yeah. Cool. We got to set it up. That'd be yeah, weird. That'd be fascinating. weird fucking getting him on the fucking yeah. podcast. Have you met him before? No. No, I haven't. What about the counterfeiter? <laughs> oh, dude, his video's blowing, blowing up. up. <laughs> Jeff, right? <laughs> yeah, Jeff. His video's blowing out. Yeah. I love the comments. I think it's because of the comments. I think the only reason that video's do one of the main reasons it's doing good is how fucking dumb I was on the podcast. I came in like after a whole full day of drinking. It was on a Sunday. <laughs> what? You totally didn't didn't even. I didn't. It was the la total first last. First of all, minute. first of all, I was fucking hammered drunk because I was drinking the whole entire day. Matt Cox calls me at like what time did you call me? Oh, it, it was it was probably two or three o'clock, and I was like, Can't you, "You, what are you doing? 
Yeah. You, yeah, I, you want to get have this guy you on your don't podcast? meet a lot of counterfeiters. Like you just even you in federal prison, right. I probably met three or four right. the whole time. Like, and he knew. And it's funny because you know when he starts talking, you know what he knows. He, you immediately know he knows. What, I don't know what else he he's talking about, but when he starts talking about counterfeiting, you're like, oh, this motherfucker counterfeited some money. Oh yeah, like you oh, know yeah. he knows. Oh yeah, like I don't half the stuff may be insane what he's talk what what Bozak's talking about, but the moment he starts talking about credit cards and making credit cards, you're like, oh yeah, you know, no, no, okay. Yeah, I don't know about all that other. <laughs> Go on. I don't know about the moon landing thing, but you you That's can make true. a card. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, I, I was uh, no preparation. It was like two hours notice for the podcast and I was drunk and I just walked in and I, I, I was a fucking moron on the podcast. I, I asked a guy the same question twice within like, oh, and people, I'm sure people went nuts. <laughs> oh, if you just read the top comments, that's just, it just fucking shits down my throat. This guy is carrying the podcast on his back. He explains things well and speaks objectively. Interviewer is a straight up fool. <laughs> 300 <laughs> likes on that comment. <laughs> Oh God, dude! Wow, dude, you get crucified in the great. comment section, though. Oh, Listen, you great. sent a fucking uh, comment to Matt the other day that somebody had fucking a long-winded one. Did Those I? Are the best. Oh my God, dude! It was the greatest thing ever. It said something. The one line that I just sticks out to me that uh, most that I remember from it said that, "Why are you giving this guy a platform?" Because he, he said, "What do he say?" Oh, oh, it's shitting on Matt. God damn it, dude! I forgot what they said. Now oh, yeah, something yeah. about he. Um, I love sending. I love sending Matt the comments that just fucking roast him because they're mostly <laughs> roasting me. Yeah, he reads four hundred comments. He finds one that <laughs> says something yeah. negative. He's like, hard for that. "That's the one I'm sending to him." What about the other three ninety nine, Danny? Well, well, those are common. We got that was a great one though. The great. The last one you sent him was fucking that was phenomenal. Good. What did it say oh, about Matt? Dude, they were pissed. They were oh, fucking. Yeah, they yeah. were upset they hate, that Danny was me. giving Matt a why? platform. Oh, yeah. Why this snitch piece of garbage, low oh, life yeah. scumbag? Why would you give someone like this a platform? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. doesn't deserve to live. What about his victims or something? Blah blah. It's just like <laughs> he said. This Jesus. guy's willing to take advantage of anyone he oh. deems less important than himself to, right. to pad his fucking criminal bank account. And I'm like, God. You, you said it to Damn. me. Damn. <laughs> I and, was and, like, I would, the whole, and the whole time I was reading it going, dude, it's pretty they, accurate. They were yeah, pissed. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> dude, I don't so like pissed. his characterization. They were so mad, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. The delivery sucked, but it was pretty accurate. I think know. it was quite eloquent yeah, how they wrote yeah, it. I, <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> it really great. really was, it was well put together. Was I was like, damn. <laughs> it was beautifully articulated. <laughs> it was beautifully articulated. Yeah. It, it, there, yeah. No, I think he could have been nicer. That's fine. Anyways, we just did three hours. So I think... Let's wrap her up. Cut it. John, plug your shit. Yeah. Here um man. yeah, man. Just uh come to my come to my Instagram account, uh sl at Slum by Nature on Instagram. And um if you want to buy any paintings from me, you can do so there. Also, mm -hmm. tune into my Instagram account and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That's Boziat Conundrum Podcast uh, on YouTube. I'm doing um doing a lot of good things over there now and uh shit's just only gonna get crazier, so yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My channel's growing like a like a motherfucker right now. You know, my views are going crazy. Um, you know, subscribers, like I said, I'm getting them. You know, by the fistful every day. Hell yeah! Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you guys are down to see Matt or John do some tattoos live. Yeah, um, and you know, I'm still down for the ass cheek tattoos too. If we can, re <laughs> we can yeah. hit that 10k, we can hit that 10,000 mark. Um, I think that would be great. You want to read Matt's comment? <laughs> hey, oh, ju yeah. Just the title of it is great. This is great. Please is stop great. giving the mega douche Matthew Cox a platform. Five stars. I love concrete podcasts. I love Danny. He chooses fascinating subjects and speakers. <laughs> he leads fascinating conversations. But for the love of God and all that is holy, <laughs> please stop giving mega douche Cox a platform. <laughs> I don't care how extroverted, animated, and able to carry a, story, carry a story the guy is. He's a jailhouse snitch and a self-serving human being that literally took advantage of people he deemed less important than himself in order to steal their identities pad his, and pad his Ill illegal Illicit. bank accounts and evade the FBI. Then, <laughs> then he has the sack to talk about it openly to anybody <laughs> listening. The guy's a sociopath and doesn't deserve a do-over or a public platform to peddle his tales of illegally gotten clout <laughs> shamelessly. <laughs> he deserves nothing less than to be a deplatformed and shunned into obscurity 
for the rest of his miserable jailhouse snitch existence. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> I clip, mean, clip that. God. Harsh. Damn. I am clipping that and putting that all over social media. That's oh awesome. That was awesome. Harsh. Well done. If you are if you are watching this right now, well done. I yeah. mean, Hurt, What's that guy? Hurtful. Tell us what the guy's username Hold is on. on YouTube. If that's you, please comment. We'll send you some free yeah, merch. We'll for that. send you. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. This guy, please leave a comment on this podcast with your email address, and we'll get in, we'll get in touch, and we're going to send you a shitload of free oh, stuff. What is his uh, name? It's last review, right? Latest reviews. No, it oh. doesn't have his name on there. Uh. Oh, oh, this was in a YouTube comment. Oh, Twenty four days ago by. This was a comment on Cal's Apple Podcasts. Oh, oh, oh on like Apple Russian. Podcasts. It was a review on Apple Podcasts. It wasn't on YouTube. Mm. The, the snitch really hit the bone. Wow. The inter- <laughs> it, it hurt. That, that, that was like the core of the message. You were a snitch and you found a really articulated way to just shit on you. Oh, I mean, you know. Mega I mean, douche he Matthew has, Cox. Mega, mega douche, douche Cox. Matthew Cox. <laughs> he said then he's got the sack to talk oh, about yeah, it. That anybody that's willing to listen. <laughs> You hear this? This is this is another one. Danny, said. these are what Danny sends me. Grimy, I love it. Been listening for nearly six months. I've never seen a photo of Matt, but I always pictured him as a bald guy. Now I get it. He's just little. <laughs> God damn! I mean, they're fucking brutal. Oh, they're fuck. absolutely brutal. These are good, man. We should save all those and make like a little book out of them or something. Oh, we one should day. make like a table, like a like After one of those like, coffee like table books. Like ten, book. yeah, ten Awful. years of comments. They're just fucking classics. All the best ones. Yeah, that would be beautiful, mm-hmm. and we could sell them. Yeah, Listen, you could you could book. go through you could go through all of <clears throat> all of soft white underbelly, Vlad TV. You could go through value tip. I mean, because they all have them. Yeah. yeah, and you know you could. Oh God, what's his name? What was the guy? The big Herc. Oh, the big, big Herc. Herc. Yeah. Oh. Big Herks, like you go through all those channels. It there are some people that are not happy with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I like to say that they yeah. just don't really know me. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I just gotta get to know him. He's a yeah. great guy, just like the Joker. <laughs> I wonder why they got picture well, of you so as bald. Serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, "I never it's saw a picture little, of Matt, like, but I always thought he was little. bald." <laughs> When I, the last part when I read it, I just fucking died laughing. And the worst thing, I was laughing and I thought, Jailhouse well, snitch existence. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they were pissed. Yeah, the snitch really, really hits a bone with something. Really people, upset. Man. They really get upset about that. Yeah. Le- oh, but uh, Belford just did uh, Vlad and he talks about it. Ask him about him. About fucking, you? No, about cooperating. Oh. Belford. And he goes all into it. What does he say? He says basically the same thing you said? Well, what's funny is he explains that he says, look, he said, did I cooperate? He goes, yeah, I, I, I cooperate. He's like, I, I wore a wire. <laughs> and he said, I wore a wire on a couple people. He said, nobody said anything that really, really um, incriminated themselves. He said, and I knew everybody was going to cooperate and I was going to have to testify anyway. So I wasn't concerned. He said, and be honest with you, he said, you're looking at 20, 30 years. He said, everybody on Wall Street cooperates. He said, then he said they had me go to their my best friend, which was like a, a guy named I think his name was Danny, and he goes to Danny and and he said you know and I was like Danny definitely had done some things like I knew it was going to be bad. He said so I slipped him a note that said I'm wired, don't say anything to incriminate yourself, <clears throat> and he goes and he took the note and he said okay. He, so we had a conversation. And he didn't say anything. He said three months later they had indicted Danny for other reasons nothing i had done he said and the agent comes and bangs on my front door and he said and holds up the note oh damn we got kept the note yeah and he said yeah he said he said and what danny did as soon as they indicted him was he cooperated against me he said right then no way i damn. lost my he has my faith in humanity he said and i enthusiastically cooperated against everyone since then and, and he you know he was like yeah and that was it. How did they what get the note? Do? Because when he gave it to Danny, oh. Danny kept it. And so uh, three months later when they came and they arrested him Jesus anyway. Jesus like Christ. He was like, listen, Belford this, Belford that, boom, he always kept the note. I mean, yeah. Wow. He said, yeah, he said, he said, and then he, when he went on, he said, and be honest, he said, I, I got lucky that the agent liked me and didn't push for them to give me a bunch of time. He ended up getting, I think, mm-hmm. 18 months or four years, and he ended up doing 18 months. Or so. I forget exactly what it was. But he explains the whole thing. He breaks it down. And, and so, anyway, that's on uh, Colby, 
sent me that and said, bro, you've got to do a video on this, on Belfort. Mm. You know, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I thought, you need a reaction video. So yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. thought it was funny. Cool. Matthew, where can we subscribe to your Patreon and buy your paintings and your books? <clears throat> I mean, Patreon, you know. All so, on Patreon. Patreon.com yeah. slash Inside True Crime. Is it? Maybe it's just Matt Cox. I don't know. I'll send you the link. But yeah, yeah, there's different good. tiers, and I have a YouTube channel, and it's called uh, Matt Cox Inside True Crime. And yeah, that's uh, yeah. And I sell paintings. Perfect. And Boziak's got a bunch of paintings. Yep. Yeah, please buy my painting. Nipsey. Yeah, DM, DM Boziak about the Nipsey Hustle painting. Hell yeah. And the uh, Daffy Duck doing cocaine. Hell yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs>